Good afternoon, my fellow gamers. How's everybody doing today? YouTube's already recommending I run an ad. I guess that's just the normal now. Times are tough, you know? Gotta, gotta make money, gotta start hustling. That's what, that's what Patrician taught me last week. If you, if you missed that stream. Oh, man. Ah, we're gonna have a nice, calm, chill Skyrim stream today. I am hyped. I've been uh, going through all the footage that I've been recording for Skyrim the past few days. And uh, I, I got through all of that. And yes, yeah, Skyrim is uh, definitely a game. I'm excited for this. I'm actually excited to do this video now. Uh, hate to break it to you, but a year working on Skyrim videos for almost a year straight does get a little bit boring. It does get a little bit tiring, so... I wasn't exactly thrilled to be coming back to it even after Fallout 76. And, uh... But, so far from what I've been recording and playing and everything, I got a lot of shit I want to talk about. A lot of stuff that's... I've, I've screwed up, or, uh... The game screwed up. It, it's It's been a back-and-forth relationship, this playthrough. Now, honestly, this past two playthroughs. This, this character's been a bit of an interesting experiment as well. But I gotta start getting the caffeine going, though. I'm sl freaking sleepy. So what's going on? Let's see. What's chat been talking about? Oh, what are we talking about? Zenimax and Bethesda and Fallout 76 development. There's a lot I wish I... I wish I could get actual answers to. Even if I wasn't allowed to disclose it with other people. There's just stuff that I'm very curious about when it comes to, uh... When it comes to just how Bethesda makes games in general, there's so many questions that I want to ask. How much leeway does the quest designers get? Do they actually have any sort of person who goes through and makes sure, you know, the writing teams are... Do they even have a writing team? I, I think that's where I would start. Is there actually a dedicated writing team? Because it's starting to feel like there might not be. Man, you want to talk about a story that kind of falls apart, though. The Thieves' Guild. Oh, boy. I don't know what happened there. It it started off well uh, enough, and then it kind of just evolves into running dungeons and things like that. Once once the uh, I, I think it's rather telling that the that quest the quest line basically ends running through two Duema ruins, or well, it runs through a Duema ruin and then it runs through a. Uh, a Nordic ruin at the end. And it's like, you guys started off strong with, you know, the, the stuff in the market. It was a decent introduction. And then you have the quest to go rough up some shopkeepers and stuff. It's like, okay, this is this is actually a Thieves Guild. We're doing illegal stuff. Um, Golden Glow was... It, on paper, it was a good idea. Its execution was... Um, it left a lot to be desired, but that's okay. You know, there's a few other quests here that we can uh, get the ball rolling. Um, uh, the Hunting Brew Meter request was then a step down from what we did at Golden Glow. And it kind of just was a dungeon crawl uh, disguised as a uh, as a normal quest. And then, then you get to Snowvale Sanctum, and it kind of just... Kind of just loses it all at that point. 
I'm hoping the, the Dark Brotherhood stuff is better. I just finished all the um, CC stuff that I wanted to do on this character. Which, man. The CC armor for light armor. <laughs> That's a topic. Would I be interested in being a guest on your podcast next week? Uh, DM me on Discord. And we can work something out like that. Sorry for blowing up chat. Hey, somebody has to keep the show going, you know? Yeah, I don't think Pat's going to be joining us this stream. I think he's taken the week off, or the weekend off, so. It's just gonna be us. I'll try and make up for some of his unhingedness. Uh, I'll, I'll try and, i try and step it up a bit. First, uh, doing a playthrough, playing as a mage, and you started sneaking dungeons inadvertently. Yeah, that, that's basically how it goes. I'm at the point now with my stealth characters where half the time I'm just like, yeah, I think I'm just going to sneak past all these Draugr, because the Draugr are just, they're just so tanky. They're just so tanky, and without illusion magic to disable them, the next best thing is just to sneak past them. Y you hit that point during a Skyrim playthrough where you're like, why am I fighting everything? And then like three dungeons later you realize, why am I even playing this game anymore if I'm just going to sneak past everything? Do I pay taxes? I do pay taxes. I am a good citizen. I pay my taxes. I obey the laws. I make sure to park for parking. <laughs> Salty step stepping up the, the shilling now instead. Yes, if you want to watch a completed Fallout 4, Fallout 76 video, a four hour Fallout 76 video right now, uncensored, you can go to my Patreon at patreon.com slash private sessions. We'll be doing a, uh, I know Pat just finished the music for his video, so we should be getting pretty close now. I don't want to put a date on it yet, but we're talking like maybe a week or so. Maybe a week plus uh, for the next premiere. Um, I don't know what he's doing, but I'm committed to doing two hour sections, so... First two hours will be released one week, and then the following week would be part two. And then, uh, hopefully a week after that, I'll do the full upload, the full thing all in one shot, but I might have to give it a little bit longer, just because YouTube moderation and stuff like that, I, I want to make extra sure that everything is uh, copacetic before I release the full thing. But if you pay for, you know, two ninety nine for the month or so, you, you, can, you can just pay, watch it, and then cancel too. You just pay like the three bucks just to catch the video early. Otherwise, you know, just wait. It's like, like I said last week, if you've waited this long for a release for me, yeah, yeah, I think it's safe to say you, you can wait a few more weeks if you don't feel like paying for it. Though I will say the uncensored version's definitely my, fav my favorite version because the censored one I had to cut out a lot. A lot of, uh, a lot of naughty words. I didn't cut any, like, footage or anything, so that's at least safe. Because there was some stuff, there was some stuff that we recorded, some bits that we did that, uh, I don't know. I want to release them somehow, but it would definitely, <laughs> that would definitely be, uh, for my second channel. Let's put it that way. I would not want that on my main channel. <laughs> few years ago in your discord has my discord been around for a few years i think it's only been around for a year but anyways said ender always on my to-do list 
when, am I still going to do that? Um, yeah, I'll probably do Ender All at some point. I gotta finish... I gotta get rid of... I gotta finish all the Elder Scrolls stuff that I want to do first before I can start thinking about, like, serious modded content. I know it's, I also said I was doing a modded Oblivion video. That's still in the works as well. It, it's hard for me to just... It's hard for me to play multiple Elder Scrolls games at the same time. So, like, I was working on some Morrowind stuff, but now that I'm playing Skyrim again, I stopped playing Morrowind because I just don't want to play... It gets... It gets... First off, it gets really confusing. And second off, I'd rather be playing the most fun uh, characters and the most fun games. So it's like, if I'm doing a Skyrim, like stealth character that's pretty fucking boring as opposed to a Morrowind mage so I would wind up playing mostly Morrowind and then it kind of just screws everything up so I got I got to keep things compartmentalized for the most part especially when it comes to Elder Scrolls projects but yeah Ender all seems interesting it's that there's definitely a conversation to have there I don't know how big of a video it would be but I could at least justify doing, like, you know, 30 minutes of it or something like that. work has helped you improve your mental health and uh, get through some dark times that's really it's really surreal to read stuff like that um i mean i'm glad you know i'm really glad to be able to just help people even just you know give people something to listen to while they're at work or something that alone is you know pretty pretty cool to hear but um yeah i mean you know i've been there too where it's like I'm just having a really shitty day, so I just put on somebody's YouTube videos or put on some streams and everything, and it's pretty cool that I get to, you know, do that now for other people as well. Do I get more of a split from YouTube memberships or Patreon? Um, no, actually, it's exactly the same. YouTube YouTube memberships are actually, um, they're actually a pretty decent system. I just don't like their back end stuff. It makes tracking a lot of Patreon's so much better developed. Uh, there's so many more options and stuff. So many, just so much more. I can do, like, I can do refunds on Patreon. I did not even know that was a thing until a few months ago. Uh, yeah, they need to they need to step up their game with memberships if they want me to actually shill it harder. But uh, in terms of payouts, it's exactly the same. So it really comes down to if you're going to support. Well, just do it if one uh, you feel more comfortable using or something like that. But um, yeah. So like one of the things is I have to go into memberships and download my uh, my memberships uh, roster. I guess you would call it. I don't know. Uh, every month I have to go in and download that manually because there's no way for me to go back and retroactively see people who you know, subscribed in, like, say, December, and then cancelled in January or February. Which is a problem, because, like, I want those people's names to still feature in the credits in the next Skyrim video. So, Patreon lets me do that. You know, if you cancel, you're still, like, in the history, but... Uh, yeah, as far as I can tell, YouTube has no feature to let me look up those people. So, I just have to be proactive and keep downloading that stuff and just make my own, uh... Make my own database, basically, which is really annoying. So I, I hope I don't get a message being like, hey, um, you know, I, I, I paid, but I didn't see my name in the credits because then I'd have to be like, oh, yeah, thanks. Thanks, YouTube. I think I've caught everybody, though. So. What series has your favorite lore? Probably Elder Scrolls, I guess. I'm not really big into the lore, to be perfectly honest. Uh, Elder Scrolls, I know the most about, lore-wise. Sad to say, I think Halo, I know. Like, that'd be my second... Oh, no, 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 Mass Effect, actually. Mass Effect, I know the most... Actually, Mass Effect, I might know the most lore about in general. I might know more about that than Elder Scrolls. 
but uh yeah i think i like elder scrolls this lore more but mass effects is a second close second vicky two stream when oh god i don't <laughs> i'm so rusty with vicky I'm, I'm rusty with like paradox games in general it's been forever since i've gotten to play any of those this is a, like you know 40 plus hour long uh campaigns so it's 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 a commitment to play that sort of stuff i kind of want to do that multiplayer i was talking to somebody they're like oh we should do vicky 2 multiplayer and it's like i never did that before but then you got to get everybody together and it's like i wouldn't really want to play more than say like three or four hours a night so it's like you're talking do that at best two times a week and it's, it'd take you like three months to get through a campaign Either that or Stellaris. Stellaris would also be really fun to do multiplayer, I think. Hey, thanks for signing up on uh, Patreon. Just got the email notification. You just got promoted to assistant lab manager for a genetics research company. Wow. You're <laughs> doing a lot more than me, that's for sure. Hope it all works out. Hope that pays. Usually, I have, I have a friend who, uh, he's a uh, environmental scientist and he does, um, he does something in chemistry. But uh, I, I know they were doing like a bunch of stuff when COVID was breaking out. They were doing like a bunch of lab testing and stuff there. So... That's uh, definitely a field that I would <laughs> never be able to do. Halo MCC Bible study Sundays when? <laughs> I haven't given up on the parasocial power hour thing. Um, it's just the time. Just the time, you know. I was, <laughs> I had some free time the other night. I finished, I finished all my, uh, all going through all my footage and everything for the day. I didn't feel like recording anything else. I was like, maybe I'll just play some video games for fun for the first time in like two months now. And I made a spreadsheet of my entire backlog. It was like 40 games. And I just, I, I came up with like a ranking system, like using a random number generator to like basically create, uh, like brackets for it to like filter through. And I ran that thing probably for like an hour, hour and a half. And I just never, <laughs> I was just never able to convince myself to like start playing the game that actually won. So the games that won were Terraria, um, Darkest Dungeon, and uh, what was the third one? Dragon's Dogma. Dragon's Dogma I wanted to do a video on. So I was like, yeah, I don't think I'm going to actually play that now. Uh, Darkest Dungeon is kind of a challenging game, and I just didn't really feel like... So I, I watched... Uh, what was it? Um, it was... Uh, Mandalore. Mandalore just released a new video on um, the newest Pathfinder game, and I was watching that, and I was like, oh, I want to play that game so bad, but I also kind of want to do a video on it. So I was kind of sitting there, just like watching it, um, and I was like, all right... I have uh, Kingmaker. I have it, uh, but I don't have uh, Path of the Righteous. And I was like, I, I don't want to play it because I want to do a video on it. So I want to play something that's kind of like it. And all the games that are kind of like it, I also want to do videos on. So I was just like, all right, what am I going to actually play for fun? Minecraft, my mod install is broken, so I couldn't play that. And uh, make a long story short, I wound up playing nothing. I wound up going to bed. And I woke up the next day, I was like, alright, time to work on Skyrim instead. I literally play less video games now than I did before I started this channel. Especially for fun. Tyranny, yeah, Tyranny, it's, it's another game that's like, alright, I want to play, I'll, I'll play Tyranny. I was like, oh wait, I want to do a video on Tyranny as well. <laughs> Tyranny's a good game. Such an underrated game. Such an underrated game that will probably never get a sequel to. That kind of hurts. There was so many good ideas where it's just like, ah, Tyranny 2, man, that's going to be the game.
Is it going to be better than Super Red's video? Super Red did a video on Dragon's Dogma? That's a channel. That is a channel, man. I've fallen down the rabbit hole of watching those videos. And that's all I will say about that. If you want my opinions, you have to go to my Discord. I know he's working on a Oblivion video. I cannot wait to watch that. Like, unironically, I want to watch that so badly. When do you get your caffeine pills? Um, uh, this. So the problem is we're having manufacturing issues right now due to supply chain disruptions. Um, so... They're on back order. We're expecting them to be back in stock in about six to eight months. The only video I'm also excited for is uh, Pat's uh, over uh, the Outer Worlds video. He's working on that too. I mean, I I, I want to watch his Fallout 76 video, of course, you know. It, it features features yours truly, but uh, I want to see his Outer Worlds video because every there is something about that game where everybody's videos are titled something like it's aggressively average or something. It's like, when it, something cannot just be average for whatever reason. I've noticed this in you, YouTube videos and like game journalist articles and stuff. Nothing can be average. It has to be like aggressively average or like painfully average or like, it's just like. I don't know, it's one of those things that just kind of, kind of annoys me as somebody who writes for a living. Like, you know, it's, it's perfectly fine to just say it's just average, you know. The Raider questline for Fallout 76 was just Dead Money's plot with Borderlands 3, 3's camp. Oh my god. I, I If it even channeled like a quarter of the energy of Dead Money's plot, that would have been great. Ah, just the fucking... It would have been great if the thing just worked. If literally the quests didn't constantly break on me in that game. I don't know if something was wrong with my install or what, but... I had so many bugs that Pat did not have. And... I assumed in the video I said, well, it might have been because we were playing on a team together and he was always party leader. But then I was playing solo uh, while I was working on that video as well. And I was still having a bunch of issues and stuff. So I don't know. I think the game is just maybe it's my hardware configuration. I do not know that game. I have I had so many disconnects, just so many, just so many issues, so many server desyncs. Where the game should have just kicked me out, but it didn't. So then I was just locked in some weird limbo state. Oh, oh my god. I'm so, I'm so glad I'm done with that game. <laughs> I cannot wait to just uninstall it and never even look at it again. I have to keep it installed for a little while longer, though, because I might need to... The videos aren't out yet, so you never know if you got to go back in or something. Have I played RuneScape 3's Dungeoneering? Mm thinking of a way to integrating the game's skills into puzzles could be a good lens for examining Skyrim's dungeons. I haven't played... I don't think I've ever played RuneScape 3, to be perfectly honest. Um, I definitely never mess with Dungeoneering. I already talked about Skyrim's dungeons, so... I wouldn't really be interested in going back, and let alone having to play RuneScape in order to fucking talk about that. Holy crap. I want to talk about a game that is a slow start. RuneScape's like, yeah, you just gotta do three weeks of grinding before you can actually really start to play the game. RuneScape's Dungeoneering is legitimately the best part of the game for how it integrates all the mechanics together to a single system. Interesting. Is Dungeoneering an old school RuneScape? I know they were... I know they have some of the dungeons now. I, I don't know if they have the actual skill, though, in old school. What 
What are the three world's most underrated games of all time? Uh, let me think. Does Marwind count? <laughs> I feel like it's the most like one of the most famous underrated games. Or examples of underrated games. I will say, I think Tyranny is underrated. We were just talking about it. You know, recency bias and all that. But um, I think that game's pretty, pretty underrated. Mm, I don't know. That's a hard one. I don't play many, like, really obscure games. Or if I do play them, it's like, I understand why they're obscure. For a game to be underrated, it's like, this game does everything right, it, there's definitely a demand and an audience for it, it just isn't there, for whatever reason, and I, I just can't really think of many games that come to mind that fits like that sort of, uh, or at least nothing that I play, really. I feel like Elite Dangerous is more underrated than it should be, when you're looking at, uh, people who are like sticking money to star citizen and it's like you guys realize most of that game already exists right it's it's in it's in uh elite dangerous but um yeah elite dangerous is basically the truck sim in outer space for most people uh old school does not have dungeoneering in it I guess there's a reason for me to play RS3 then. Seven thousand hours in Elite Dangerous, and it's all in VR. Yeah, that game is really the only game that I would actually want to play in VR. That that looks pretty sick, but I also don't want to pay that much money for a VR rig for one game. 7,000 hours in it, though. Damn. That is, that is a lot. But that's, yeah, that's your typical Elite Dangerous player. It's like, you either have a crap ton of hours in it, or you've barely played it at all. I also like the community in that game. Would I play Fallout New Vegas or Skyrim in VR? I've never really had a overwhelming interest for that. Uh, for those games. I don't know, I'm kind of... I'm kind of basic. Kind of a basic bitch when it comes to games. Just give me a mouse and keyboard and a standard monitor. I'd be curious, especially Skyrim, but... Uh... Yeah, I don't know. It's one of those things where it's like, you don't really know what you're missing out on in VR until you've seen it as well. So, maybe my opinions would change if I actually was exposed to VR, but I've never even put a mask on or anything or a headset on uh as well as i also get motion sick pretty easily so yeah i don't, I don't know if vr is really gonna be my thing with stuff like ai generated voices do you think we might finally get a game similar to marwind i mean we could have a marwind right now uh People just need to get over not having, like, full voice acting. I, I think, like, as you look at... See, this is why I want to play uh, the Pathfinder games, because there's that's a lot of text in that game. There's no way it's all not voice acted. I mean, I'd be really fucking impressed if it was, but... Um, I don't think... I think people just need to get over not having voice acting for the most part. I mean, I understand if it's like I have trouble reading uh, or if like English or whatever is not your native language. Like, you know, there's, there's reasons that text-based dialogue could hold certain players back, but then there's, you could just make tools to like, you know, auto-generate voices for that sort of stuff. Um, you know, we, we have reader modes on like Windows and stuff, so. But... Uh, I, I think really what it would come down to is that we need tools like what what holds back a game like Marwin from being developed is that you have so many so many overlapping systems and uh, it's like such a big world and everything like that doing QA for that would be very difficult 
and just making the world and the environments and stuff. But that's once again, there's going to be AI tools for that very soon. Um, I, I still don't know why. So if like, if Marwind was made back in the day with a 30 person team, right? Surely a group of like 10 people now could do it. Uh, with just like the advancements we've made, uh, just, you know, working within a, a, a like out of the box uh, game engine like Unity or Unreal and stuff like that. There's a lot of stuff that has been streamlined at this point that I feel like you don't need a 30 person team to make Morrowind. You could probably do it on like 10 or 15 and a smaller budget too. But it hasn't been done yet and I'm not too sure why. And the more I play Morrowind, the more I am confused why we have not seen something like it since. I, I hope that changes at some point. And one of the reasons I want to make a video is just like, the more people we get out there saying, like, we need another, uh, we need another Morrowind or something like that, the better. I don't think so yeah there's a lot of fear that like um ai is going to be displacing voice actors and stuff i don't really see that being the case though um i don't know maybe i'm just naive uh or just a little too optimistic but i, I feel like there's always going to be a place for a proper human artist and it basically in any in any event um just for the sheer fact that you know humans can be a lot more creative and stuff uh but, you know, the optics of it as well. I, I feel like there's going to be a demand for artists for a long time coming. Uh, I just see AI, um, like AI generated art and stuff being useful for people who are either, you're just doing mock-ups or something to get an idea across to actual artists, or you're, you know, a mod art author or something like that, or like a very small development team and you just you just can't afford to do it. Ask why you're message messaging my big fat wife on Tumblr for you. Uh, what? reason I don't think Mar a Marwan game has been made yet is because there's a stigma for a certain uh, the game carries. Uh, that could be it. I, I think it's just a misinterpretation of the demands or um, yeah like the demand of the audiences and stuff like that. Uh, I, I think there's probably a lot of developers that are seeing it being like, it's just not a very marketable game. You know, hit chance, uh, text-based dialogue, that sort of stuff. Uh, a weird alien environment. Kinda, kinda difficult. See, this is the other thing too, is like people think Morrowind is a very difficult game when it's not. Uh, if It can be difficult if you make a bad character build and stuff, but uh, if you go in and try to learn the game and approach it on its terms it's actually a, probably the easiest elder scrolls game i've played to be perfectly honest uh you just gotta you just gotta approach it on its terms so th it also has that going for it then too is the uh the idea that the game is too difficult um which is just another reason why we need more people going out there being like just explaining the game better but if we want to see it if we want to see the game if we want to see like a spiritual successor to it or a sequel or something like that, 
This is why discourse on the internet is so important. But on that note, I think we got to get started. I've been going for like 35 minutes now. And we got a lot of stuff to play. I think. I don't know. This character's been kind of tricky. All right. All right, I got to set up audio, game audio, because I'm using something new. I think I fixed the robot issue that we are having last week with Discord. Okay, so this... Just work like this. All right, there we go. Got game audio. All right, there we go. So, the first problem this character has is doing stealth attacks with your fists is very difficult because you got to get right up behind somebody. And, um, yeah, fists have a very short reach. So it makes uh, doing stealth kills... Kind of difficult, especially when that character is moving. Um, the other problem with this character is that it's heavy armor, so I've had to drop a lot of equipment just to make it so that I can sneak. Like, what I really need are muffled boots. Yeah, so I got armor piece. This hideous fucking mask. And my brawler gauntlets, which are light armor, not heavy armor. And I got a shield. Oh, right. I do have muffle. I do have the spell muffle, though. So, let's see. I'm still not sure what I should do. If I should go do more Thieves Guild stuff. I think I'm up to the Hunting Brew Meter request. I mean, that one's... Yeah, alright. We'll, we'll go do that quest... Because, and we're pretty much done with the quest that even required any sort of stealth. This one is literally just a dungeon run. Am I investing in enchanting? I think I'm going to skip enchanting. If I do, I'll do it off camera because I am grinding enchanting and smithing on my main character right now. And... I'm just, I'm just so tired of doing grinds in this game. This has been the most grindiest character, uh, the, the most grindiest uh, playthroughs I've done so far. So you're the one that burned down Golden Glow Estate. Do you have any idea what that little stunt you pulled is going to cost me? I'm amazed you even bothered to show your face here. Well, then why'd you ask for me? The only reason we're having this conversation is due to Brynjolf's assurance you won't botch another assignment. He claims you possess some sort of uncanny aptitude for your line of work. Quite frankly, I find that hard to believe. I like how... We do have many other thieves, uh, and they didn't just botch an entire job like that. Uh, you know, you have Vex and everything. But, uh, no, we're just gonna send me back out to do it again. Deal, deal directly with Maven as well. Is that confidence I hear? Or is it arrogance? 
Strange how often they're confused. You have to understand. How many hives did I burn? I burned all of them. <laughs> Just because I wanted to wanted to piss her off. I don't have all I care about is cause and effect. Did the job get done and was it done correctly? But what's funny is like these are the last quests that we can even screw anything up with. The rest of these quests, there's no optional objectives or anything like that. Nothing that can be really messed up. So, yeah, I, I guess it works in Maven's favor. Especially the quest where you gotta follow um, Golem Eye. That's a, that's a quest, all right. I hope not. This is, I have a competitor called, I also want to know how they manage. Like, e even on my character where I was trying to do everything correctly, that still got screwed up. But it literally doesn't matter. Like, the, the only thing that might impact something is if you kill Golemi. And I don't even know. Well, I, we'll find out because that's what I'm going to do with this character. But. He'll fill you in on all the details. Uh, yeah, I don't One more care about it. You butcher this job and you will be sorry. Oh, don't worry. You got the right person for the job. This is an. Uh, I'm trying to figure out what the uh, what the point of. There's what's the point in this here. quest line where I? Oh, nice. Busted yeah. FOVs glitch. Uh, busted LODs, I should say. Uh, I'm trying to think what the point where I get ejected from this story is, and I think it's this quest. Because it just doesn't really make any sense. Yeah, this looks good. I mean, you have like the teleport. Well, we'll we'll cover all the inadequacies as we're going through. I see you, Sam. Hi there. Can't a man drink? I'm gonna keep this short. Haunting Brew's owner, Sad Yarn, is about. No, no, that's the beauty. The metery has quite a. I also like how Mercer Frey's voice acting, the voice actor for Mercer Frey, gets used so much in this quest line. If you kill him, the game literally spawns a note on his body that wouldn't be there otherwise. <laughs> You're going to happen by and lend poor old He's going to give you the poison to use on the pests, but you're also going to dump it into the brewing vat. Maven and I spent week. Now get going before Sadjorn grows a brain and hires someone else to do the dirty work. Once Sadjorn is out of the way, Maven has plans for the place. Consider it just more of the dirty work. I did my part getting them in there. Now you need to clear them out. Oh, that's asking why we're going to bother poisoning the nest. No, I want to know why we're going to bother poisoning the, uh... Delphine. What is Delphine doing here? Not here. I told you to meet me in Riverwood. What are you doing here? Of the scourge that has so... Oh, they're still broken. Interesting. They're still broken. Hmm. And it's it's always white run that I have this issue in too. What are you gawking at? Can't you see I have problems here? See, what have been what have made this more interesting is if Sabion was actually like a decent, uh, like a decent dude and everything, and y you kind of feel bad for setting him up, and so there could be some sort of uh, inner conflict here. But it turns out Sabion's probably even worse than Maven Blackbriar, and he will openly admit that he's holding a. Uh, Malburn. I'm supposed to be holding a tasting basically as a slave at this point. He's he's an indentured servant. If he sees the meadery in this state, I'll be ruined. Oh really? 
might need to restart to fix that. No, I've I've had this bug many times. It usually goes away from just like fast traveling going into an interior. Well, that's not how I operate. Ah, I don't have enough speech. Okay, okay. No need to make There we go. Oh, maybe I should be doing intimidate on this character then. Get the rest when the job's done. My only demand is that these vermin are permanently eliminated before my reputation is completely destroyed. I bought some poison. I was going to have because my, my other character was I haven't failed a persuasion check on my other character yet. If you plant this in the vermin's nest, it should stop them from ever coming back. Don't come back until every one of those things are dead. Yeah, let me see. What is my speech on this character? Uh, it's only 22. Oh, I have an unspent uh, skill point. So there's no... Um, no unarmed skill, so I don't have to worry about that. Basically, I have everything that I need with stealth so far. Uh, heavy armor, I want fists of steel. And that's all I'm going to invest, is those two points. I really don't feel like messing with smithing or enchanting on this character. It's kind of no reason to either, especially like smithing. I tested this before. If like um, if you improve your gauntlets, if that will increase the damage you do with melee when you have uh, fists of steel, it does not. Unfortunately, game uh, game hates fun, I guess. So I can probably skip both of those because I really just don't feel like doing uh doing the grinding. And then we got illusion going. Uh, yeah, I guess. I thought I already got this one, actually. Yeah, we'll keep doing illusion then. Now I've got to clean up this mess. Let's see. What's cool about illusion with this character, though, is that um, I don't have to worry about losing like x like potential XP on opponents or like on main skills like see I can just do this now and it's not like I'm gonna screw myself out of getting XP for destruction magic or something like that because there's no unarmed skill so there's literally no reason for me to fight anything so I just go through sneak hit things with uh, calm and just uh, keep going Damn, though. Oh, yeah, I think I'm on Master. Oh, no, I'm on Expert. Okay. No, that's where I want to be. trying to remember how to even play this character. I know I probably should just be using the shield. And then just take some fetchy soup. What the hell? I, I took the fetchy soup. Oh, maybe the poison is... Ah, uh, the poison was damage. Interesting. The poison was damaging my uh, stamina regen, so the veggie soup wasn't actually working. Ooh, ooh, that's that's a little unsettling.
God damn. Why is the rats in the basement quest in the Thieves Guild? I never even thought of that. <laughs> there's actually a... There's kind of a rats in the basement quest for uh, hearth fire as well. Alright, so we calm them and then take them out. Yeah, if you don't furnish your basement in hearth fire, uh, rats can move in. I wish I had Frenzy. Over here. Come on. Hmm. Hold on. I'm gonna try... And get a sneak attack on this dude. Yeah. Yeah, this- so this dude's, um... He's kind of a challenge. So, alright. First things first, we should have the shield out. Oh, what? I already got detected? How? Did they hear me switching to my shield? Or is it because my shield is out, I'm generating more? No, no, they just detected me for no reason, I guess. Ah. Oh no. Do I have something for resisting? I do not. It'd be cool if I could poison my fists. Oh man, the fact that it's not stun locking him is also a little bit concerning. All right. I'm gonna try dragging them out. Damn it. Here he comes. Oops. Did not mean to do that. Time to run. I don't even know how long that calm is going to work, though. Okay, he's losing aggro. Ah, oh, crap. The calm f wore off, though. <laughs> You would think they'd be able to smell me out, right? I don't know where the other one went. Oh, fuck. I feel like getting him in there, though, is the play. Uh, I can try fear. Oh yeah, these are like... 
higher level skeevers as well. Uh, don't be intelligent, please. Follow me. Well, you know, sooner or later he will run out of magicka, right? There we go. Go. That's what that's what we want. That's what we want. No, 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 no magic. This only. There we go. And that's how it's done. Easy as that. Oh, what the hell? Why am I over encumbered? What am I carrying? Oh, dragon bones and stuff. I'm also used to my other character that has, like, uh, 600 carry weight, I think, something around there. Just drop some dragon bones. That's just vendor trash anyway. Uh, so where'd that other one go that I feared? My character is really out of breath. Let me tell you, that was a that was a hard fight. Is that the skeever that I scared off? Did it eventually come up? Fight. Uh, no, I don't have a backpack. Actually, that's something I should invest in. Anything worth stealing around here? Nice. We did it for the XP, you know? Oh god. Oh. Sorry about that. I don't know what that glitch is. I've been having that issue lately, too. They're reforming the Dawn Guard. I'm the commander of the Guard here in Whiterun. Was something we... Well, it's about time. I had to stall the captain until you were finished. You'll just have to wait until after the captain's finished. I suppose you can wait around. I can't wait you to must. see Savjorn squirm. So the obvious thing is, how did the... How did the mead get into that barrel, right? Well, Savjorn... But then the other question is... Why does he have the authority to promote him? Help yourself, my lord. It's my finest and why is the guard acting as, like, the health department? Oh, come now. This is mead, not some wine to be sipped in secret. This is just like a stupid... It, it, it's, this is just a silly, uh... Cutscene. Yeah, like that line, what? Please. You're gonna lock somebody up just because this place is dirty? Or lock him up, lock him up for the rest of his life? <laughs> Charge here until I can sort this all out. It will be my pleasure. 
And you, you're coming with me to Dragon's Reach. We'll see how quickly your memory clears in the city's prisons. Now, move. What memory, though? What is he supposed to remember? That the place is dirty? I thought that was common knowledge. Well, that definitely worked to your plan. I don't think that could have gone any better. Yeah, that's exactly what I was just saying. Before you head back to Rip. So, Maven wants to. You're welcome to take a look around Sabjorn's office. Here, this should help. Oh yeah, he was supposed to pay me. I thought it would be better to leave some of the details. Oh yeah, this is a stupid line too. Well, so here's the other thing. Okay, yeah, you can run the risk of me walking away from the job, but what about if I died down there? I mean, I did several times. But uh, how would that screw your plans up if I died down there because I was not prepared for that fight? I'm going to use the Fists of Rangulf for my build. I'm going to use, uh, I'm going to try to use all the uh, different uh, fist weapons and stuff like that. All the stuff that they added with CC. Just try all sorts of different things to try and make it a little bit more viable. I can't believe that worked. I, I want to see how far we can go with it. Alright, I think fast traveling out of here should fix the uh, broken LODs. No doubt about it. The thieves guild is Still baffles me that a human wrote this quest and said, yeah, this makes sense. Um, I think it was more like they wrote it and was just like, yeah, nobody's going to notice the issues here. Trust you have good news for me? This doesn't tell me much. The only thing that could identify Sabion's partner is this odd little symbol. I hope she gives me a really good reward. Last time she gave me an enchanted iron dagger. Well, even though she was very pleased. They'll regret starting a war with me. You should bring this information to the Thieves Guild immediately. There's also the matter of your payment. Now is not the time for I believe you'll find this more than adequate for your services. If you were to leave, I would miss you. Steel dagger of soul snares. Oh, so okay. So the last one was an iron dagger of soul trap. I think it was also. Is she scripted to give a soul trap weapon? I think you've had plenty, Volwolf. Maybe you should head on. Uh, we'll just do this so that we don't have to. Go through the loading screens. No, it's... Because sitting through the loading screens does get a little bit tiring after a point. Especially with this this uh, quest line, you go through a lot of them. Interest you in some muck. Word on the street is that poor Sabjorn has found himself in White Run's prison. How unfortunate for him. Exactly. Now you're beginning to see how our little system works. Maven sent word that you discovered something else while you were out there. Something important. Then this is beyond coincidence. First Arangar, and now st someone's trying to take us down by driving a wedge between Maven and the guild. I, I'm still not exactly 
clear on how this is meant to drive a wedge between the guilds and Maven. It's definitely screwing things up for sure, but it doesn't seem like it implicates that the guild is either is neither being incompetent nor like working against her. It's like, no, there's just a third party here trying to muscle their way in and screw things up. I don't really see how that, you know, is meant to draw doubt on the guild. And it doesn't either. Like, Maven kind of doesn't give a shit. Her first reaction is, oh, you should bring this information to your guild. So, yeah, I don't know, Carlia. I mean, it, it makes sense to try and screw things up, sure, but uh, people are people read into it a little bit too much. Ah, there you are. It would seem our adversary is attempting to take us apart indirectly by angering. Yeah, the only impact is if she loses influence that'll weaken the guild clever. even more. Maybe we should recruit them. You jest, but they've been able to avoid identification for years. They're obviously well funded, driven, and patient. Just don't Is she well funded? Admiration for complacency. Our nemesis is going to pay dearly. Because even after all their posturing and planning, they've made a mistake. The parchment you recovered mentions a gajal lie. According to my sources, that's an Oh yeah, that's also never really mentioned. Never really answered if this was her if this was Carlia making a mistake or if she just wanted to be found. Because this was all supposed to be to set up I mean if her end goal was to be discovered so that she could ambush him in uh in Snowvale Sanctum. But I feel like that's a bit of a bit of a leap on her part to assume that this really convoluted plan they would eventually like Mercer would eventually figure this all out and end up in Snowfell Sanctum and there's also the timetable of it too it's like what if it took him weeks to figure all this out not you know a few days are you just gonna sit in Snowfell Sanctum with all the Draugr floating around for weeks waiting for him to show up It's like every step of the way at this point, the, the so many questions open up about the story and just like what's going on and what people are actually thinking and planning that it just starts to it, it makes it difficult to it makes it difficult to follow this pretty simple story just because it's like, but that just doesn't make any sense. Why, why would you be doing it this way? You're going to have to buy him off. And then the fact that she shows up with a journal, and this is also that whole factor, like she shows up with a journal, and Brynjolf reads, thumbs through it real fast, is like, yep, okay, I guess Mercer's a piece of shit. Because like, this, this whole thing was also to get the journal so that she could clear her name, and it's like, why didn't she just get the journal? If the journal cleared her name anyway, why did she wait 25 years to get it? And why did Mercer do all of this? He he thinks he kills us, right, in Snowfell Sanctum. So why does he then clear out the vaults and just leave? Surely he should have, if he was planning on leaving and stuff after a point, surely now would not be a good time to do that. Give it a few months, because if I show up or Carlia shows up, at least he's in person there to defend himself and cast doubt onto what we're presenting. But because he vanishes at the same time all of this happens, and remember, we're supposed to be dead. He thinks we killed us. Um, why would he... Why would you leave? Like, that just makes... that. It, that's that's what... Oh, uh, what? He got sick of sitting here talking to me? You're going to have to... If that fails, follow him and see what he's up to. If I... No, no. Mercer wants him alive. No, I gotta get through this fucking tail. stupid. To step into something he can't scrape off his boot. Okay. Good luck in solitude. Keep... Yeah, it, it just doesn't make any sense why he would... What did you need? Why are you following me out here? Why he would leave the guilds and rob from the guild, like steal from the guilds and stuff right after that whole thing happened. 
Why didn't he grab the journal while he was in there? I haven't discovered the location yet. Okay, so carriage ride then. Yeah, analyzing the story of this uh, this questline is going to be very fun. As in, I'm probably not even going to do much of it because it's just... It just all falls apart so quickly. It's almost not even worth really getting too deep into it. Like, I could understand... This is one of those questions that I'd want to ask a uh, Bethesda developer. It's like... Well, how many people were working on the Thieves Go quest line? Was it like everybody was working on these quests independently or something like that? And it was just difficult for them to get everything to come together? Or was this just one person who just kind of like one or two people and uh, they just kind of were making it up as they went along? I'm more inclined to believe that second part. That they were kind of just uh, making it up as they went along and... Uh, just kind of skimped on the details. Ah, right. Tell them he didn't do it. You don't actually have to sit here and watch this whole thing either. You just continue on your way, and then when you leave the building... I, mean, I think if I leave right now, it's already completed. Yeah. Little, little pro tip if you ever get sick of watching the uh, execution there. So, what do we have here? Hmm. Let me guess. By your scent, I'd say you were from the guild. But that can't be true, because I told Mercer I wouldn't deal with them. My scent? Oh, he must, he must mean we smell like shit because we're hanging out in a sewer all day. I don't deal in land or property. I had, a, I had an NPC and my other character tell me that I stunk and that I need to change my clothing and took a shower. I've never had that before. It was like random dialogue too. And so I checked to see like, oh, maybe I'm like diseased or something, but I wasn't. I have no idea what that, what that uh, random dialogue was from. Oh, wait. Did you say Golden Glow Estate? Uh, my apologies. And it wasn't on my cat character either. It was a Bosmer. That, uh, bee farm, was it? Maybe I did, maybe I didn't. I can't be expected to remember everything. Alright, so I this know. quest, I really just want to go through and, um, completely Hasn't just Mercer botch it. Taught you people anything? You kill me, and your only contact with the East Empire Company vanishes. That's not smart for business. And I need I need to up my speech game. Promise. If I tell you the buyer's name and word gets around, it could ruin me. Wow. So he just like completely dro completely drops the pretense that he's even that he doesn't even know Carlia's name. He's just like, no no no, I, I just I just can't tell you now. Well, now that you mention it. There is something I've been trying to get my hands on. I have a buyer looking for a case of Firebrand wine. It just so happens. Yeah, I guess I could use the B-roll footage. Sure. Me, and we'll talk about Golden Glow Estate. It's weird that I can't just give him money. Fledging suits me. Are they concerned that I would just steal the money back once I gave it to him? There's another Argonian. Maybe that's why they won't let the Argonians into the into Windhelm. A message to your majesty and your majesty. Yes. You know, it's a shame that they got rid of independent thievery. I'm thinking about that right now. Oh, to act as like, uh, you know, the gate, the, the speed bumps like they did in, oh yes. Oh, it is actually marked as, 
It actually has a property flag on it, so at least it's considered stealing. Not that that's... I don't think I've ever seen anybody walk down this hallway before, so... Someday a gallant hero. Are you my um, gallant hero? Yeah, it's kind of a shame that they removed independent thievery, because it's actually pretty profitable in this game. To just go around and start breaking into people's houses and stealing stuff. Yeah, I'm using the unofficial patch. You, you help me. You help oh no. No, 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 no. We are not doing Shao Gorath's quest. I guess I should be grateful that he doesn't immediately initiate conversation with me. Or just passing him doesn't immediately put a quest in my uh, journal to talk to him. How's the initial feedback on the 76 video been? Uh, so far it's been good. Very good. Um, we'll see uh, when it actually publicly releases how people take it. I imagine there's... Me and Pat are expecting... Uh, we're anticipating a lot of Fallout 76 fans coming out of the woodworks. And uh, not taking too kindly to what we had to say. Not at all. I consider it an investment in prolonging my life. As far as Golden Glow Estate goes, I'll tell you I don't like I Skyrim, why bother covering it? I was approached by a woman who wanted me to act as the broker for something big. It's a... a bag well, the problem is, is that there's a lot of all I had to just not very good... I just don't think nobody's coin. covered it in, like, super serious Her detail, except for deep. Patrician with his video. But, um... I mean, I'm a fan of Bethesda games, and... It's not even like I don't like Skyrim. There's aspects of it to it I like. There's parts... It, it's very... My relationship with Skyrim is very complicated. So I think that alone justifies... It warrants me looking into it. And it's one of those games where it's just like... The more I look into it, it feels like the less I actually know about it. And... It starts to, under, it starts to make sense why there's so many like misconceptions about how the systems in this game work and everything like that. It's just a good game to cover, to talk about, make videos on. And I, my goal isn't really to make people hate it or love it or anything like that. It's just, I, I just want to put more information out there so that we can better discuss this game and, you know, discuss how Bethesda makes games and stuff. We already know he was lying. He literally was, like, when I failed the persuasion, he blew his entire cover. I'll be on my way. You again. We have nothing else to discuss. Oh yeah, this. Move. Sorry, Gollum. I need uh I need my pickpocket training. Our business has concluded and you're standing in my way. Kratos has made a better video than my retrospective. Which video of mine are you talking about? If you're talking about my first Skyrim video, then yeah, I agree. Um if we're talking about my later videos though. Uh, Kratos' video isn't even complete yet, so, I mean, you know, you're entitled to your opinion and stuff. I, I thought Kratos' video was pretty good. Um, I would like to see it finished before I can really make claims on has how, good it, how good it actually is, though. Also, I think Kratos' is more... He was harder on the game than I was. Okay. Oh, you know what I should do is save before I, uh... There we go. All right. Why are you following me? I told you I don't know anything else. Now it's fun. It's funny that he, you know, like I'm blowing my cover entirely during this section, but he'll just keep walking to where he's got to go.
This is one of the reasons this quest kind of just falls apart completely. Like, I could understand not having the quest softlock or something here, but you could just have it where he just goes to his house and he just refuses to go to the location until he thinks it's clear. Like, if you blow your cover, he'll you'll get, like, a pop-up that says, oh, I my cover's blown. I gotta wait. Like, maybe if I wait around for a while... He'll, uh, he'll start heading back to the warehouse or something, or heading back to wherever he's going. But, you would also just do this. And you just wait. And there you go, just follow the, follow the omniscient quest marker. Now, what makes this quest difficult, or this part uh, difficult, is not that you have to be stealthy. See, like, you can just walk up in front of him. Like, you have that goat there. You're not supposed to be in here. Huh? It is actually the fact that all of these dudes are pretty tough. To go. Oh, he's back there. So then the other problem that I got into so this section's not as difficult as the next section. I think the next section you're meant to be like swimming through the area. But the problem was that when I was trying to stealth through that on my other character, it was much better at stealth than this one. Uh it just immediately fell apart because I just had to walk past everybody. Like, they were all standing, like, right there in front of me. You're not supposed to be in here. Like, they, even, they even put things in here to, like, trip you up so that you make noise and everything, but it doesn't... Like, it doesn't matter. I like his reaction to the to combat breaking out here, too. It's, it's it's just like he just starts acting like it's just like a generic brawl breaking out. Yeah, this is this is a sky request. Oh, hi. Ah, I didn't save. Oh, wait, right. I want to try this. You may as well give up. I see you. Oh no, a bounty. Spellcasting there. Uh-oh. I see. This is the incent... This is the incentive to do this stealth, is that so you don't have to fight all these wardens. Alright. So. What? <laughs> what? 
Um. What? Oh, that was my quick save over here that I reloaded to. What the fuck? <laughs> um Okay, all right. Please, Skyrim, I only I only have so much tolerance for shit breaking. <laughs> I got detected. Now who detected me? Was it the goat that detected me? Was it Gollum that detected me? If it was the guard, I'm assuming they would have come and attacked me, so... Alright, so we'll stealth through this section, I guess. Like, they give you, they have all these, you know, pathways and everything to stealth your way through, but it's just not very necessary. I just don't want to aggro the, uh, the guards is all. I guess we do have to drop down for a bit. Nope. Yeah, see. He, he was getting a little lost in here, you know? I'm sure I cannot, yeah, I can't wait for this location. So they thought of that at least. Is someone there? Nope. Nope. Warmer. You're getting warmer. Up, oh, cold. Colder. Oh, now you're now you're freezing cold. What was that? I guess I was just hearing things. He's trying to throw me off now. Oh. Hi. <laughs> so what happens if I just go in here then? Are they gonna follow me? Okay, so this is where he's supposed to be going. Oh, wait. Oh, did it... Did it teleport him? I think it teleported him. Oops. Oops. I'm just... I'm just really clumsy. Um 
Okay. Wow, is this actually working? Oh, another guard there. I see slaughterfish eggs, but I don't see slaughterfish. Now that would really uh, mix things up here. I don't have throat voice, do I? Um, I do not. Let's just hope. Okay. Okay, so he's... Uh-oh. Uh-oh, we attracted a bunch of dudes over here. He's just gonna stand here, isn't he? Did they have child support in the Elder Scrolls universe? See, if I had, like, a really powerful poison, I could put it on this dude and, like, kill him. I doubt this is going to work. Oh, I don't even have the poisoned perk, right? All right, now we do. Too powerful. Do I have a paralysis poison? I do. Oh no. Is someone there? <laughs> Why did they turn hostile? You can't hide from me. Oh, maybe they're not programmed to come out this way? Also, I have no idea where Gollum is. Oh, I wasn't supposed to quick save? What happened? Behind me? He's, is he here? Uh, the quest marker is pointing out of here. I soft locked myself. Oh, that's hilarious. Hold on. That's no, no, this is actually really good news. That's funny. All right, let's see what happens if I go to the quest marker now. I, th I think I have an auto save anyway. Uh, let me see. Hmm. Hmm. Uh oh. Uh oh. Wait, what is this one? 
What is this one? What? I've never seen an auto save thumbnail that's on the map. My travel. When did I travel though? Oh, that's 48. This is 28. And this is seven minutes. Oh, when I just I just fast travel to here, right? He's moving. Yeah, he went into the grotto. Might be good. See, I just got I got too excited. I got I got ahead of the script there. Now we just got to go through this section again. Unless... Ah, there's no fast truck. Oh, wait. Oh, there is. Hold on. Hold on, now I want to try something else. Now I'm trying to break it. This is, see, this is what these streams are about. Hard save before? Nah, screw that. We'll do a quick save. Oh. Hold on. I don't want to actually fight the Horkers. The Horkers are a... They're a peaceful species, you know? So, here's my question. How am I supposed to confront him with all the guards over here? Am I just supposed to slaughter everybody now? Is someone there? See, because you would think a, a Thieves' Guild quest, right? You, you should be able to do it without killing anybody? I guess not. Uh-oh. It's brought back up. This character does not do damage. Hand to hand is already falling off. See, because like the idea was that 
I'd be able to stealth kill a bunch of enemies, and that would make it easier to kill them, but... Get my hotkeys mixed up. My favorited veggie soup. Please stop. I'm having trouble keeping track of where you are. Oh, backup's arrived. Damn. Now, surely illusion spells aren't going to work on these people. We are way too far along, right? Oh. This isn't as bad as this. I was gonna tell Mercer about everything, honestly. Please, you'll have to kill me. I'm staying out of this. Now there's no need to do anything else. <laughs> this isn't as bad as Okay, well we gotta hurry this up, buddy. Tell Mercer about... No, please. It's Carlia. Her name is Mercer never told Carlia is the thief response. Help. No, no. Please. You have to I don't know. Take the Golden Glow Estate Get Thieves' proof. Right. And when you speak to Mercer, work more to him alive. Mercer never told you about her? Carlia. So, what happens if I kill Gollum here? No. Oh. Killed each other. Please, please. I'm gonna tell Mercer about it. Please, you'll have to keep your kill. hands to yourself. Now there's no need to do anything rash. This isn't as bad as it seems. Okay, so he doesn't have anything Mercer. on him. Honestly, please. No, it's Carlia. Her Mercer, Carlia is the thief for spot. Help, please. You have to. I don't know. Here, T Mercer never told you about her. Stop it, you. Never should have come here. Okay, so killing him there doesn't really do anything. Oh no, what happened here? So I want to, I want to know, like, everybody was saying that a note spawns on his body if he dies before, before you confront him. But, I mean, I killed him earlier and nothing was on there, it just said I need to get the information a different way. I don't even have, like, a save, though. I should have saved before I... Before I started following him. Uh, I might have to just do that. On a different character. Or an earlier save or something like that. I don't feel like going through this whole thing again. It's, it's a miracle nothing broke while I was doing this. Yeah, I think I'm going to just head on out. Gonna run by them. Yeah, I'm, I'm curious. Do I have a save on my other character that's closer?
Oh, the game crashed. Because I clicked on something in the UI. Okay. All right, let's try that again. So let's see. All right, so this was... I got the journal. This was right before Snowfell Sanctum. Uh, all right, let's... Test this one. Let's see, where am I in this? Oh, nope. Still got a long ways to go. Yeah, Nightingale Hall. Let's try this one. Ah, damn it. It's the same position as the other one was. So I'd have to do Golden Glow and stuff. Or not Golden Glow. Alright, I'll test that some other time, I guess. The note spawns in the chest at the end of the dungeon, but only if you kill him before he confesses. Okay. So my only question is, if it gives you a quest marker, if you have to find that on your own, then. Because if, if it removes the quest marker, then at least... That's a... That's a little bit of a consequence. See, because the whole thing is that this... A quest like that should be super punishing. I don't mind that there's a option of last resort. That's not a big deal. Um, it's better than them making him central, but... The question is how much... How much are you going to be punished for screwing that up? Alright, so. Carlia destroyed everything this problem is. After we discovered what she'd done, we spent months trying to track her down, but she combat what we're gonna be going to do now is Carlia a dungeon Carlia run with Draugr. And this character is really uh really sucks against Draugr. Um, it kind of just sucks in general in combat at this point, and I'm kinda not pleased whatsoever with how this build is. Maybe what we should do is here's your payment for solitude. Prepare yourself and meet me at the ruins as soon as you can. We can get some of those uh fist weapons. I think that's what I'm gonna end up doing. We'll try and go get some fist weapons to try and increase this damage this character's damage output because it's just not very good. I could also dump, drop the difficulty setting, but I don't really want to do that. I'm on, I'm on expert at this point at level 17. That sounds fair. Because uh, the only thing that I have that's increasing my melee damage is these gloves. Uh, it's also, I think that's the same amount as the, the uh, was it the gauntlets of the pugilist? Do I even have any money? 
I have a little bit. I could see if a uh, vendor around here has something as well. Ah, yes. Gotta wait for the animation to completely finish. I don't understand why he doesn't use Trill Run despite his despite it being better than his current sword. So he has a vampiric sword as well. He should really be dual wielding that with Chill Rend. Because he dual wields. But uh Nah, he needs to keep that locked up so that when the player inevitably goes to grab it. My husband Bercy will be the death of me. Oh, he's It's too much time worrying about Riften and not enough. You gonna about buy himself. something? Or just just what you see here? Yeah, I remember her having, uh, some of them. But I guess not. I'll take the Thief Backpack, though. Sell some stuff off. I should also be using this. Shock damage isn't really a thing for my character, but... Yeah, I do have gloves, the gloves of the Pugilist. Yeah, seeing as I'm not going to bother with enchanting on this character, I can just sell all this stuff. Throw voice would also be helpful on this character. Maybe I should go track that down. What brings you? Take a look. I'll just sell him some stuff. Uh, we'll just sell the Thieves Guild armor. I don't actually need any of that. Yeah, I don't think I'm ready yet to be using boots. I think my sneak is a bit too low still. smithing work come see me again please please i need but a septum a septum is all i ask is that so bad hmm i'm still trying to think i'm, I'm gonna let's see what do we got i think there's two different um two mods that add new fist weapons that's the Contest and Fearsome Fists. Maybe crafted at any forge. So I might be able to make iron ones. You're a stranger here too, huh? Sorry, bud. I need this. Please. Trying to kick him off, and he just immediately started going back into it. All right, so the fist weapon. weapon I have to do something to unlock it. Yes. Oh wait, is that it right there? Okay, but it's missing the enchantment. See, it's supposed to have an enchantment on it that increases its unarmed damage, but it doesn't. So what's the point of it? What's the point of crafting it? Oh god, this creation's worse than I realized. It's definitely not miscellaneous. 
Okay, so I guess we got to do the contest then. Maybe in the smithing table you can't see the enchantment. Maybe. What do I need to make them? Alright, two leather strips. Let's go. I think... What brings you to Balamut? Hmm. Blades, helmets, pretty much anything to suit your needs. If you need any more smithing work, come see me again. Not okay, bad. let's see. Reminds me what I uh, hmm. Maybe they just do more melee damage? Uh, okay, let's see. Working at the Rift and Fishery is tough. How can I test this? it uh get av health yes okay his health is 108 let's do this without them first all right and we get his health 108 minus 91 Is that uh, 17 damage? Oh, I don't want to do this in my head. Yes, 17. All right. So then. Never should have come here. No, no, that didn't happen. There's nothing like fishing on Lake Andre. You should try it sometime. So then, all right, so we'll test this. Okay, now right, give me your health. Same thing. So, okay, that doesn't do anything. Now we'll test, as a control, we'll test the uh, bracers here. Yep, the braces do the damage. Okay, so the gauntlets don't do anything when you craft them. Hmm. There's nothing like fishing on Lake Andre. You should try it. Sometime. So, all right, I need an enchanting station. Where is there an enchanting station in here? Is there one in the keep? I know there's no, there's none in the rat way or anything like that. Yeah, it's the mage in here. She should have one in her place. Yeah, there you go. So... Maybe, like, the enchantment on it would be stronger? Oh, um. Oh, I can only break down the one that I have. God damn it! Can't break down the. Well, I got I got the the ones of the pugilist, whatever. I'll just wear that one, I guess. They're both light armor, anyways. Okay. Yeah, my enchanting skill is uh, not going to be up to snuff. This is actually going to be a bit difficult to compare. What I might actually do is... Alright. I actually want to test this on a character that can smith. 
and in chant, I mean. Yeah, I'm gonna assume these are kind of worthless then. All right, so we'll go to my current character. Oh, I'm standing in front of an anvil too. Perfect. I'm going to assume the ones that you can craft are basically worthless, except for the aesthetics of it. Which is uh, worthless because they just don't look very good. Do I have leather strips? I do not. Let's make these gauntlets. We'll make a couple. Oh, maybe... Maybe they have... Hold on. This, this might be something. They might have higher uh, base armor rating. So if you have the... Um, have a fist of steel... No, same armor rating. What is the point of them then without the enchantment? Marshall, what is the point of these? Do you understand? Because I really don't. Seems like you can fake it at least, I guess, by if it had a higher base armor rating, because upgraded armor rating does not affect it. And then if you have Fist of Steel, well then, okay, at least you're going to do more damage with it. But they're literally the, identical, then, if you craft them until you enchant them. Oh, do I even have the enchantment, though? I might not even have the enchantment. Uh, fortify. Unarmed. All right, sweet. Still only seven points, though. Damn. It's seven. Really? It's seven points? Because it's like, the, the Fist of the Pugilist, that's 10. And I've seen ones out in the wild that are even higher than this. And, I mean, my character is pretty decent at enchanting. So, how high does this enchantment even really go when you're putting it on yourself? And I could do a little bit more, I guess. Do I actually have to bust out Sarian for this, to test this shit? I think I do. I need, so I need someone who's like cracked out on enchanting for this. Because now I want to get a baseline. So we've established that the ones you craft are basically worthless, right? So now we need to establish a baseline for where or how much the enchantment will actually work. Oh, crap. Where am I? Oh, this is after the battle for Windhelm. I was collecting B-roll on this. All right. Uh, all right, so let's go to Meyer Watch. Oh, these are different characters that I'm that I've been loading into. This is not my this is not my enchanting level on uh, on my main character. Because I need to know now how high the enchantment on these fists will go. So give me... I probably have something on me to just make this stuff. Cannot use this while in combat. Oh, you gotta be shitting me. <laughs> All right. Uh, let's see. We'll load this save then, I guess. Combat. Yeah, you know, I'm, I'm in combat. Didn't you see all the enemies that were nearby? 
That was absolutely swarmed. I love I love that about uh, Creation Clubhouses too, where you walk in and everything just falls off the shelves. They're all like free floating havocs items. So like as you go into these houses, like you'll come in originally and everything will be fine, but the more you enter the cell, the more it recalculates the physics, and it just like you'll eventually your house just starts falling apart. Alright, so, let's just, where is my smithing items? Somewhere around here. Nah, whatever. I'll just spawn it in. There's the leather strips. Now, let's see. I don't think I have anything that's going to be buffing my, uh, my enchanting. So this is just straight up. Thirteen damage. Thirteen damage. And that is with... Enchanting completely maxed out. And... I don't think I'm wearing anything that's going to be boosting my enchantment. No, I'm not. Uh, do I have anything remade for that? Probably in here. Uh, no, this is all garbage that I want to sell. Here we go. Nope. Do I not have anything enchanted to? Oh, there. there oh, right, right. There's no enchantments to increase enchanting. It's potions. Which I don't think I have any floating around. Yeah, I would have to. Alright, well, I can do the math in my head pretty much and assume stacking, enchanting, or alchemy effects. I can probably get maybe plus 15 melee damage. Plus 16. No, it definitely wouldn't get up to plus 20. So... Yeah, so crafting the gloves and then putting enchantments on it doesn't really do much. But you have the ones that are out in the world. So what I want to do now is... I can do it on this character, actually. Actually, uh, this is a better way. So what I want to see now is what merchants will sell. Because at this point, at this level, they'll be selling, like, the best ones. I help my father in more ways than pe They're pretty Blades. ubiquitous, so it shouldn't be too difficult for me to find them. Uh, it's not going to be a weapon, so it's going to be apparel. Yes, here we go. Unarmed strikes do 18 additional damage. 
Wow. That's your best one. I mean, these are Daedric Gauntlets too. So this is so this is basically the best of the best you're gonna find. Actually, twenty base armor plus an additional eighteen damage, so thirty eight damage for melee strikes. And it's not like you can punch very fast. Um, I don't know. There might be a way for us to increase punching speed. Elemental Fury is not gonna do it because that only works on uh, weapons. Oh, man. Man, this is rough. Hand to hand. I assumed it would be more viable for at least a little bit longer, but I'm already at level 17. It's like, I can go and get gloves and stuff that will be like this, I guess. And maybe make it to like level 25 before I'm actually capped out and then at that point it's like i would just have to illusion literally everything wow i don't know i'm a... <laughs> i'll get some of the gauntlets and stuff just to see it i need the resto loop i can't use the restoration loop playing on the patched version the restor restoration loop is you know that's that's calling it quits of course the restoration loop will work Ring of the Beast does 20. Uh, right, the Ring of the Beast. So you could, so you can get that and get yourself an extra 20 points. And then there was something... Um, it's like a blessing if you're like a female, I think, or something like that. Like Debella's... Like you, you do the quest for Debella or something like that and it increases the damage. You'll do a little bit more damage as well. So it's like a bunch of different things you can stack. Ring of the Beast plus Dragon Plate Gauntlets plus Khajiit should be doing 60 base damage. Dragon Plate Gauntlets. Are, are you assuming, are you also adding in the uh, unarmed strike damage from this enchantment? Because that'll give, that, that would then get you up to 78. 78 base damage. And, mm -hmm. and we can load up. Because this is, so, this is what I'm comparing it to at this point. Is what this character can do. So this is my, sh this is my crappier bow too. 134 damage. Now this bow is pretty insane because 20% draw speed, 20% 20, 20 faster draw speed also makes you go invisible. When you pull it out, which, you know, is okay, I guess. Yeah. So this is what this character can do. <laughs> I also have the, uh, I also have the perk, the archery perk that lets me shoot faster, like 30% faster. Right, where is it? Here it is, archery. Yeah, 30% faster. So this thing's 50% faster. So that's 138 per shot. Or 134 per shot. Then you do the times three sneak attack damage. Because remember, I'm supposed to be doing stealth attacks. So the problem with uh, fists is that uh, stealth attacks, you really only get one shot at it, and it's kind of difficult to pull off. Um, then we got my crossbows, and that's where it starts to get a little bit uh, insane. So yeah, this one does 142. This isn't even an upgraded one either. Uh, I have a Daedric one floating around somewhere that I could probably upgrade and get that even higher. And then, yeah, you know, burns targets. And the cool thing about uh, these things is that they actually shoot really fast. And there's no, like, pullback, so I can just sit here and spam it. Like, with a bow, you, you know, like, if I try spamming it, it doesn't really go anywhere, so you have to, you know, do the full pullback. So, I mean, this, this thing's still really fast. But the, uh... Yeah, the crossbows are kind of insane. I don't, I don't know how we 
salvage the hand-to-hand -hand character at this point. I might have to just switch to, like, melee or something on that character. Like, what head? I'll do the... There's, there's one more thing. There's one more thing that we might might be able to salvage it with. And that's... Uh, and that's the special fist weapons you get from doing the contest. I don't remember what that has. What that one does. I probably should just look it up, but... Yeah, Fists of Rangeloff. I remember it being pretty quick, so we can, uh, we can knock it out real fast. Just grab that thing just to, just to compare it. The game crashed again. Wow. I wonder if this safe is, uh, a little bit corrupted now. Oh, you know what? That crash is probably from me loading up a bunch of different characters. Yeah, I don't. I, it's probably not this save specifically. Um, I I just remembered Sarian. Sarian causes a lot of problems now. <laughs> He's been around for a bit too long. Done way too much stuff. Uh, all right. So I think this note's like somewhere. She was such a helpful young lass. You know about Talos? He founded the Empire. Be on the lookout. The this is always the hardest part of CC. Finding the, uh, finding the one specific scrap of paper that's... going to start the quest. Alright, there we go. Now this one's very straightforward. It's literally just read the journal, get the location of the cave, go to the location, get to the end of the cave, and there's your item rewards. All right. We gotta just make it there without getting ambushed by like two or three dragons. Put my gauntlets back on. Yeah, but I'm almost sure this, uh, these gauntlets don't really do much. And this is kind of why I didn't want to even do melee. Like I said it in the previous video, I wasn't sure if I was even going to cover it. And this is kind of why. Um, I, I mean... When they removed the unarmed skill, that kind of said it all, but... For the sake of being thorough, probably should still at least check it out. This is pretty much going exactly how I expected this was going to go.
if I remember correctly, this is also a really short uh, dungeon. I mean, I can't fight these dudes, but, you know, might as well get some training, right? Ah, I have to defeat the boss, right. Oh, right. They come out and assist me. Nice. There's a there's a call on the side. Right. Alien unarmed attacks do twenty percent more damage. Okay, so it's a percentage. Block twenty percent more damage with your shield. So that's funny. That would actually work well with this with this character uh using a shield. This is these are actually not bad. Um unfortunately I'm almost positive you can't disenchant it. Hmm, so it percentage. And they have 20 armor, 20 base armor, which is the same as Daedric. So if I got the, uh, the fist perk, fist of steel, how close am I to that? I need 30. And another perk point. I go to companions, get a bunch of training and stuff like that. It's not it's not exactly a tall order there. This could get us a little bit more mileage on this character. Uh, how do we get out of here now? I guess I'll take this stuff to sell. A nice benefit of uh, unarmed, though, is that I don't have to carry around a weapon. Oh. Uh, I hope that's the exit right there. Yes, it is. All right.
All right, so we could... Hmm. I want to get that training. I want to get that perk. And then I... Th then I'll be a little bit more comfortable doing, uh... Doing the quest in the Snowfail Sanctum. I just love that combat is what's scaring me to continue the Thieves Guild quest line. Because <laughs> evidently I can, I'm at the point now where I can pretty effectively sneak past a lot of stuff. So if this was actually like a genuine Thieves Guild quest line, it wouldn't be that big a deal. You know, I shouldn't have to fight stuff. All right, well, I got to use the restroom real fast. So, I'll leave you guys with this. You think you stand a chance? Yarevov guide you. This is what you want, huh? You can do. You think you stand a chance? <gasps> no. <laughs> I'll see you burn. <gasps> you think you stand a chance? Get him. Going to enjoy killing you. Get him. Kill him. Oh. You dare fight a gunman? You think you stand a chance? I've got a bad grip on my shield. Would you take a look at it? I'm a warrior, not a blacksmith. Can't you just tell me if the grip is bad? If Aorland made it, it's more likely you're gripping it wrong. Find me tomorrow and we can go over it. these younglings scampering around worried one of them is going to take your place some of them might try but that's not what I'm worried about what then that they might get themselves killed by you they should be so lucky So the fight does end. Later. You're going to lose horribly and then say you let me win? Probably. I wanted to do I wanted to like get their health values and see if uh if they actually did any damage to each other, but I guess not. If you wish to hunt with me, your feet need we don't just take in any milk drinker who stumbles in. Talk to Codlack if you think you have what it takes to be a Oh, but you guys do. You can literally walk in here at level one and uh, walk in because the companions have an empty bed. But I still hear the call. A stranger comes to our hall. Uh, sorry, Falcus. This is more important. Would you now? Here, let me. Mm. Yes, perhaps. 
A certain strength of spirit. Master, you're not truly considering accepting him. I am nobody's master, Vilkas. And last I checked, we had some empty beds in your Vaster for those with a fire burning in their hearts. You guys got anything that I can steal? I thought perhaps this isn't the time. I've never even heard of this outsider. Sometimes the famous come to us. Sometimes men and women come to us to seek their fame. It makes no difference. What matters is their heart and their heart. Of course. How are you? <laughs> that may be so. Of course. Vilkas, take him out to the yard and see what he can do. I. Any day now, Focus. Uh -huh. He's watching me through the corner of his eye. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, am I stuck? All right. I want that danger heart. Oh yeah, you can just drag stuff. I remember in Oblivion that was considered stealing. And uh, I don't think it does in this game. You're new here. I don't trust Oh, wait, that's Farkas. Ah, fresh uh, <laughs> Hope you know how to handle yourself. Focus? You'll do all right. The old man said to have a look at you. <laughs> he, he was getting warmed up. Just have a few swings at me so I can see your form. Don't worry. I can take it. No! Not bad. Next time won't be so easy. You might just... Here's my sword. Go take it up to Yorland to have it sharpened. And be careful. Not bad. Next... I... Wait, who trains me in heavy armor? Have another question? I think Arcus does. I haven't seen you Am I in yet? Can I get the training yet? We met? Until no. next time. Well, gotta finish this first. What brings you? I'm guessing you're the newcomer then. Oh, don't worry. And don't always just do what you're told. Well, Kodlak is the harbinger. And he's a sort of... We a have no... Com have we have no friends. leaders. I've been working... My wife is in mourning and I need to get back to her... This isn't a command. Just decency. Help out an old blacksmith. I've got to get back to my work. Didn't get that training yet. Hanging around talking oh. all day. When the Empire surrendered to the Old Merry Dominion, they shamed us all. Is this Ayala downstairs? All oh, right, because I have to sit there and listen to that conversation and then go to my bedroom and everything. I haven't if you seen wish your to hunt with me, he's from more himself. Ah, good. I've been waiting for this. Wait, I remember you. So the old man thinks you've got some heart, I guess. You know this one? I saw him training in the yard with Vilkas. Ah, yes. I heard you gave him quite a thrashing. Don't let Vilkas what? you saying that. Do you think you could handle Vilkas in a real fight? Here, let's have Farkas show you where you'll be resting your head. Farkas. Hey, you guys just leave all this money lying around. Of course we did, Ice Brain. Show this new blood where the rest of the wealth sleeps. New blood? Oh, I remember you. 
Come on, follow me. Are you prepared for tonight's hunt? I'd like. I've been thinking. Why'd I love let my sneak there? Skior and Ayala like to tease me, but they're good people. You know the old man. They challenge us to be our best. Just not be too honest. to have a new face around. It gets boring here sometimes. I hope we keep you. This can be a rough life. The quarters are up here. Just pick a bed and fall in it when you're tired. Tilma will keep the place clean. She always has. Hmm. Uh, right, yes. So here you are. Looks uh, like something, something about Come this is my bedroom and everything. Looking for work. Once you've made a bit of a name for yourself, Skior and Vilkas might have things... By the way, if there's some trouble in East March, rogue wizards. I've never trusted magic types. The college is bad enough. Destroy. Oh, interesting. Okay, so he's not giving me to go rough up somebody. Unfortunate, but someone else will take care of it. Skior says that I have the strength. I'll show right, you what I go. can about protecting yourself. Oh no, you're a follower. That means he's gonna delete all the money. Smart. Those people get my because of the unofficial patch. I like. Well, maybe not yet. Hold I'm on. Tending to the warriors of the... Yeah, damn it. It was all my money. It wasn't too much, though. It's all right. All right. I need to take, like, two more hits, and I'll be at level 30. Yeah, so the unofficial patch makes it so that you can't pickpocket uh, followers. And they also delete the money that goes um, that goes into their inventories when you train with them. Gods be praised. I guess we don't need those. I'll hold on to these for the time being, I guess. Mm -hmm. Alright, so what am I carrying that's so heavy right now? A whole bunch of rings and stuff like that. Those aren't heavy, though. I don't really need any of these ingredients, either. Just stealing some of this stuff to sell it. Alright. I know who I can go trade with. Uh, yes. I got I gotta dump some stuff so I don't keep uh, getting over encumbered. And then um, I guess we'll be ready for Snowvale Sanctum. Well, looks I'm supposed to allow you to trade in one of your pieces of guild armor. So what will it be? Oh, already. Of course. Your new piece will enhance your skill beyond that of the original. I don't have any of my old armor. Then. Come back when you have at least one of the pieces. Oh, tell me I well, can't even... I'm supposed to allow oh my god, are you serious? So what will it be? Alright, well, I know... I know where I can get more. Huh. So what happens if you lose all of them? Yeah, you, like you can go around here and you'll find uh, a full set eventually. Got 
a minute? I wanted to say something. All right. I have everything you asked for all ready to go. I hope this deal goes through. I'm putting quite a bit of coin Mercer? on the line, and the last two you set up fell through. I don't understand it either. Oh, they're both Mercer, sitting at the table. You just better hope wanted to say something to you. Mercer? Mercer? Is that you? Chair, my friend. This is quite a tale. When I started out in this business, I wasn't really interested in the guild. Yeah, I don't actually care. And you've got the coin. Some other time. I'm ready to teach you. Yes, yeah, so then you have... Oh, wait, there's more glyphs there. The hood here. Boots here. Chest up there. So that should be the full set now, right? There are, okay. So the reason I did that is just I want to compare. I think I'll get the hood. Uh, I could go with the boots. I'd rather remain barefoot, though. I never even knew there was a thing there. Alright, go with the hood. Is, uh... Yeah, I'm not a, bi not a big fan of the cultist mask. It's not really the energy I'm going for with this character. <laughs> so what I want to know is if I lose like all of those armor pieces in there too, unless they respawn or something like that, maybe that's what happens. Well, looks like or like, can I well soft lock her? Because this is your main sure? fence right like here. It for you. I'm not taking it back. Uh, okay, there you go. I think these are supposed to be level scaled as well. If you're looking for extra work, I've got coin and I've got merchandise. Let's see what we can do. Uh, yeah, here, just take the mask. Until next time. For now, I'm pretty sure she doesn't work with the melee glitch. Stick to the rule. Why don't you take a look at some of my? No, she doesn't. She's a she's a fence. So that that doesn't for whatever reason that only works on vendors. It doesn't work on fences. To reset their money and everything. So I'll just wait if 48 hours for instead, guild rate, which only takes it. slightly longer. Oh no, I can't can't sell my skooma. Does she spell sell poisons? That's what I could really use, it's just a really good uh poison vendor. Right. Dump some of these as well. She's out of money. All right, then. I 
I've got coin and I've got merchandise. Let's see what we can do. Yeah, this is what I like about her is that I can literally sell her everything. Which really nullifies a lot of uh, a lot of the speech. Um, Show me what you've a lot got. of the speech uh, perks. Until next time. Almost at a almost at another level up. Which is good, so maybe another level up in heavy armor will actually get me the level up I need. Batter block. But alright. Alright, that's much better. Ready for some work or are you just gonna wander around all day? Yeah, so between waiting around and fences, you can basically nullify almost all of the speech. All, like, the mercantile speech uh, perks. So, like, these don't matter because the you, you, you make up... You make up your selling prices by just selling more items. It's not like you'll ever really be in a position where you just don't have enough items to sell. It's in Skyrim. Um... This is literally a worthless, worthless perk. Uh, and this, you just sell everything to fences. You can get around this. Yeah, they sell the fences or just sell to general goods sent, uh, vendors. And then, like, all of these. Oh, I didn't even know this was one. That's interesting. Um, I guess if you're not in the Thieves Guild, this might be useful, but if you're in the Thieves Guild, you get access to so many fences that it's kind of irrelevant. It's also level 90. And you have to invest in the thing. And this is also just like, you just wait or use the punch glitch. And if you don't want to abuse those things... I guess speech is worth investing in. The problem is, it's like speech. It's one of those things where you could just get away with not investing into it because there's other things you would rather be putting points into, like pickpocket or your damage dealing perks or your damage dealing skills. Lock picking is completely worthless, though. There's the only one that I would even consider wanting to get is unbreakable if you don't have the skeleton key but that's like three four five six perk investments into the lock picking just like not really worth it what level is unbreaking okay so that requires level 100 so it's like why would you ever get the master perk I, I guess if you didn't want to waste a point with locksmith, locksmith, then you would go master locks. But if you get unbreaking, there's no reason to get master locks. If you get, and the problem too is like unbreaking then invalidates all of these perks. And these are just like a joke. Find more golden chests and 50% greater chance of finding special treasure just means rather than... Uh, base 10% chance of finding enchanted items in a container, it's 15%. Yeah, so 50% sounds great until you realize that it's just 10 to 15%. Literally a 5% increase. That's like... That's some... That's some, like, uh... Somebody at Bethesda's, uh... 
had like they were like an economist or a data data analyst or something like that like yeah we can make this sound nicer than it actually is and these are also like just a complete meme able to pick locks without being noticed which is funny because I never have that issue to begin with like I didn't even realize I didn't even know that this really a mechanic that you're supposed to be able to be def detectable while doing that and even like the sneak perks I, I think it's dubious to go past like stealth three uh, i don't think you need four rank four or five especially if you have like enchantments and stuff on your equipment um and these are all like situational you know if you're doing a build to use this is so this is also annoying too so it's like if what if i'm not even using bows like those those should have been branched out on their own two branches like maybe the bow one would be like over here or something or the bow one could be an archery or something because it's like melee bow melee why i guess the idea is if you're using bows you might also want to be using melee but that's not really that's not necessary and then when you get uh what is it oh it's it's an archery right it's this perk power shot 50 percent chance to stagger your opponents that basically makes that you never need to use melee as a backup if like enemies close the gap because you just shoot them with an arrow and then they get stunned and you just walk back and then shoot them again and walk backwards Yeah, I'm very mixed on stealth's perks. Pickpocket was surprisingly was was a real sleeper. I was not expecting it to be so good. But then there's others where it's just they're just terrible. Uh light armor is also another one that's just pretty terrible. This would be useful stamina regeneration. That would be useful if veggie soup didn't exist and then it's it's just the same thing 10 percent chance of avoiding all damage from a melee attack while wearing light armor at least it's not a matching set but i think the light armor the light armor perks might be worse than the heavy armor perks So now we gotta go to Snowvale Sanctum. Yawning on stream. Yeah, it's the caffeine is not working, unfortunately. Yeah, you know, it's dark and rainy today. It's making me very, very sleepy. I just don't know what how much else I can really do on this character. I've already pretty much proven that it's not that viable. Now it's just about using, uh, Illusion spells and stealth. Which, I mean, there's not really much left to even do with that either. Um, because anything... Because, like, the illusion spells are pretty unimaginative. It's like... Calm, Frenzy, and... Fear. 
and then um then you just have a bunch of spells that are just that but more powerful then you have muffle clairvoyance which doesn't really do anything combat wise Like, am I even really missing anything? The master perks? Just do those as an AoE. There's some of the CC spells in Illusion, but they're not, like, really combat Illusion. So I just don't know how much illusion even has left. I'm certain Carlia is still inside. No, I found her horse. Don't worry, I've taken care. And it's not even like the illusion spells are fun because you're really just using them to circumvent combat. And it comes back to that issue that I was talking about at the beginning of the stream, where it's eventually you hit that point where you kind of question why you're even playing the game if you're just disabling all the combat and sticking past everything. It's like he knows. Into a trap and warning her that we're here. What was that? They're, it's, they're just ice wraiths. You can hear the heart of the ice wraiths. Ah, uh, must be the skeleton key, of course. You, uh... This better be important. You, uh... Alright, there you go. They say that these ancient Nordic burial mounds are sometimes impenetrable. This one doesn't look too difficult. Quite simple, really. I don't know what the fuss is about these locks. All it takes is a bit of know-how. Not a lot of skill. That should do it. Has been through here. What does she expect to find? It's impressive that he can identify that she's been through here by just looking at this uh, hallway. Yes, I definitely can uh, tell that she's been through here. What happens if I pull this? Oh. Yeah, that's another thing with stealth. Sometimes your followers just kind of don't realize that they're supposed to be in combat and not be stealthing anymore. Which is doubly funny when, um, when they're the ones who triggered the enemies. Let's 
stand right there. There you go. Alright, sweet. And now we can get this to steal. Alright. Now we're a bit more viable. That's an extra 20, 20 damage. All right, it's definitely better. Who's there? Our end is near. So ends the lesson. Sir. Maybe they didn't give him chill run just because he's so fucking powerful already. Bone shine. Clever. Wait to wake the drogger. Shut the fuck up. They're just they're they're standing right here. his boss fight with him using the vamp sword and Shoren as yeah that would actually be horrifying it's a shame he forgot Shoren at his house Who's there? You can't hide from me. oh yeah go ahead get in that I'm gonna try and make them forget about me I don't think it's gonna work The power attacks with me with a uh, fist is so slow, though. Getting sniped over here. Not even worth looting these dudes. Oh, I don't want to die to a skeever. Restoration was supposed to be a thing on this character. Whoops. Fucked it up. Where did he go? Where'd Mercer go? Oh, right. The boat. Oh, no. Oh, well. Really, I... Oh, he's stuck. He's stuck on the little ledge there. How did you even get up there? No, really, how did he get up there? <laughs> yes, yes, what is it now? Uh, 
Uh, one sec. Do we have to fight these guys? That's the question. What? What is it? <laughs> All right, Mercer, how do you want to handle this? Can I order him? Can I order him around? No, I can't. I don't even know how that hit, but okay, I'll take it. So, all right, so those guys are gonna stay asleep. Let's see if I can uh, ice this stuff real fast. Oh no, that woke everyone up. Yeah, uh, we, we got some, we got some more, more friends coming in. Oh no. These, these dudes are easy, though. All of that for four gold. Oh, this dude stayed asleep, though. Your blood will adorn my blade. Here, I need some, I need some block XP. still active. Oops, I bumped into him. Oh, we're already at the end? didn't alert everyone. Oh, what do we get? Oh, this is disarm, right? Basically one shot me. Alright. Try and be a little 
little bit better at this, I guess. We try and split some of those dudes up, that might help. Ah, damn it. Spotted me. Get in there, dude. What are you doing? Don't run away. Alright. Can you stop? Can you stop? My shield bashes are not very effective. I probably need that perk that uh, lets me stunlock higher level enemies now at this point. How's this one going, Mercer? Oh god! Use, use your vampiric sword. There we go. Nice. I get to steal all the credit. Oh, wait, I already looted that. Oh, maybe I didn't even have to fight them. Whatever, it went over pretty well. Ah, it's one of the infamous Nordic puzzles. <laughs> I, li I like the placement of these bear traps on the sides of the room. Maybe the idea is that players would have gotten, uh, paranoid about bear traps so they would avoid the center of the room and instead try and skirt the sides and then they would step into these Carlisle. oh i'm sorry were you doing something now let's get moving. do i have How? How? Carly is just that good. She can hit you even when you're ethereal. Hold on, I have I have one one other trick up my sleeve. Well, that didn't work. You know what? I well, hold on. I got this. I'm going to send the drone in. Uh, slow it down a little bit so it's at least, like, controllable. Carlia? Oh, I guess there's Gallus right there. I never noticed that. Carlia? Carlia? Where is that? Okay, so that goes to the... Hmm. Nothing's coming up on the, uh, on the old drone here. Yeah, hold on. She might be she might be invisible though. So <laughs> nah, I don't I don't yeah, I don't see anything. I think we're good. You you can go. 
Just what? What is it? Just how? She's just Carly is just that bad. <laughs> he was literally standing in front of me. I used her used him as a human shield, and uh, she still missed. Would be really awkward if in the next conversation that I have with her, she t she says that um, I was always in front of him. You're a clever girl, Carlia. Buying Golden Glow Estate and funding Haunting Room Meadery was inspired. All right, let's let's talk for a while, chat. This is a long conversation that we don't get to skip. Oh, she was behind me. Ah, uh, okay, that makes more sense. She must have been hiding inside the casket, you know. She she was pulling a Cicero on us. Did you forget the oath he took as nightingales? Did you expect him to simply ignore your methods? There's that there's that name again. Nightingales. Come, Carlia. It's time for you and Gallus to become reunited. And if you thought the co the conversations and cutscenes earlier were stupid. Wait till you see this conversation. I can promise the next time we meet, it will be your undoing. She was over the door like Splinter Cell, but I, I sent the drone in. We didn't see her. She's just that good. So Carlia is just that good and just that terrible at the same time. How interesting. It appears Gallus's history has repeated itself. Carlia has provided me the means to be rid of you, and this ancient tomb becomes your so, final. Here's my question. She's invisible right now. She has a bow, right? He has his back turned to her for like a good 15, 20 seconds. Is she... I'm not crazy, right? She could shoot him now. And she would get a sneak attack bonus. Oh, what is this? What is this filter over my screen? I sure hope it goes away soon. Easy. Don't get up so quickly. How are you feeling? And... Actually, it's lasting a while. Oh, there it is. <laughs> Just a hard turn off. No, I saved your life. My arrow was tipped with a unique paralytic poison. It slowed your heart and kept you from bleeding out. Had I intended to kill you, we would hmm. be having this conversation. Paralyzed saves your companions. I'll rem I'll try to remember that excuse next time I friendly fire my uh, companions with a with a paralyzed spell. My original intention was What? That wasn't friendly fire. I was just trying to save your life. But I never had a clear shot. I made a split second decision to get you out of the way that prevented your death. All players will take your story and make paper airplanes out of it. God damn that. <laughs> More than you'll ever... All I had hoped was that... Uh, hearing life. that kind of... That one got under my skin. Why well, capture Mercer alive? It's almost like this whole thing was fucking pointless because you just bring them the fucking... The translated journal, which you knew was down there to begin with. Um... And yeah, that was just good enough. Mercer must be brought before the guild to answer for what he's done. He needs to pay for Gallus's murder. My purpose in using Snowvale Sanctum to ambush Mercer wasn't... This whole story is just entirely pathos. Both of you like, died, logic is gone now. Logic has left the building. I suspect the information we need is written inside. I wish I knew. The journal is written in some sort of language I've never seen before. Egg, though. Gallus is friend at the College of Winterhold. Of course. The okay. Gallus okay. Knowledge of his so. Identity. Enthir. The, the way she, so, the way she says his name, right? Um, 
makes it sound like she hasn't spoken to this guy in probably 25 years. She probably hasn't, if she ever spoken to him at all. Um, keep that in mind, because when we meet Enthir, he's going to make it sound like they just, like, he and Carlyle had just spoken. It's, it's a small thing compared to all the other stupid crap we're seeing right now. It's, it's, it's a very small thing, but it's... It, it just adds to the whole experience that is the, the madness that this quest line begins to f descend into right after, well, during Snowfail Sanctum is really when it... Snowfail Sanctum is like the the quest and the companions where you find out that they're all werewolves. Okay, so now there's something I want to do. I want to know where that door goes that we saw in the room. So let's go back into Snowvale Catacombs. This is something I've never done before. I've never actually gone back into this dungeon. I'm just I'm just curious where that where that door leads at the end. Wow, I'm surprised everything hasn't respawned already. He's really out of breath, guys. Yeah, you know, he he just got shot. Is there anything even worthwhile back here? It's lockpicking XP. Oh, right, the sniping location. On my other character, so you can like see the entire chamber in here. On my other character with my uh, my stealth archer, I just sat in here and just sniped them for like five minutes straight. And just cleared the entire room doing that. I think that's actually what this room is meant to be used for. Which was a very fun... <laughs> a very fun way to take care of that room, let me tell you. Especially when the arrows wouldn't actually hit things. Because there's like an invisible barrier in there on like... Like some of the bound... bound uh, Bounding boxes on the uh, geometry isn't really correct. Oh, I can get the ship now. Now be careful. Gotta run. I think this is the right way. Imagine if Frey stole the ship on his way out. <laughs> God damn it, he ruined my 100% game completion. Now it's personal. Now, I, I didn't really have anything against Mercer before, but then he stole the ship, so. All right, so here's, here's Gallus. Uh, is there anything else in this room? Okay, so we can confirm she wasn't hiding in the casket. Because it's not opened. Oh, maybe she was hiding up there. I didn't check up there. Maybe she was hiding up there like a spider. And she, like, just descended down. You know, that would actually be kind of cool. Like, if during the cutscene... You see her, like, just drop down and, like, really quickly shoot you guys. Alright, so where does this deposit us? Oh. 
Wait, where are we? What? Oh, okay. Oh, and then it's like it's like the standing stone up there. Bet you never seen this door before. Cause who would go back into Snowfield Sanctum? There should be something in there too. Like uh like the tomb of Yurk and Windcaller. You can get the uh get the little like, you know. Uh -oh. Can I alright no, that's there's only one way in here. Is he hostile? Oh yeah, he's definitely hostile. How is he detecting me? Back off. You see nothing. Siskuma. I got a question. How does a septum rust? Isn't it made out of gold? There we go. Oh no, he he's he's gonna throw fists too. And this looks like a place that um, CC would uh, reuse. Ah, treasure map. I'm also expecting like a Like a note or something to be lying around here. Borvir's dagger. Oh, it's Borvir's right here. Oh, wait. Oh, is this one of the dudes from the College of Major... Um, the College of Winterhold, one of the cut... Um, former students of... Uh, What's-his-face... That's probably what it is. Oh, I can drop the dagger. Because I'm not going to do the College of Winter Hold. Oh yeah, I'm willing to bet some CC content comes to this location. Leave no, leave no asset unutilized. It's like Fallout 76. When they ran out of stuff to recycle from Fallout 4, they went into... They went into Skyrim. Like literally the next content update is going to have Skyrim werewolves in it. Come to Ogle at the Grotesque. Oh, I'm sorry. Now I'm just taking your shit for the XP. Is my build functioning how I can how I envisioned it? Uh, it's basically crapping out the way I imagined it would. I'm stacking about as much damage as I can with it. Did did I just see that right? Did that did the bear give the wraith a disease? Or was that just the snow particle, like the ice particle effects? I don't think I've ever seen an NPC get a disease from an animal before. 
So I'd be really surprised if the Wraith caught one. I think I was just seeing things. I've been playing this game too long. Putting Skyrim werewolves into 76. Yep. <laughs> Pretty much. It, it looked like the models from Skyrim. I can't say for certain, but. It really looked like it. But they are adding werewolves to Fallout 76 regardless. Uh, I'm sorry. Um, Blue Ridge Monster, I think they're called. They're going to be called. But yeah, you know, the, the, the famous West Virginia cryptid. It was a minor Werewolves. I've already corrected it for future experiments. Horses can get diseases. Oh, right. I forgot about that. Oh, wait, Entheo's upstairs still. I'm sorry, I'm getting ahead of the script again. Why does Appalachia have a mass density of supernatural shit in it? Um, because the game designers needed enemies. Oh, yeah. It was, uh, I'm sorry, I was, I was speaking over the line. Hold on, wait. Am I going to repeat it again? Yeah, yeah, so listen to how he delivers this line. Were you expecting her to get this for 25 years? Or did you guys just, um, like, talk to each other a few, you know, days ago? See it. I mean, I know Patricia covered all sorts of things that are really fucky with Enthir, but it really makes me wonder what happened with this quest line and the writing with it. No, however, I know someone who might. The court wizard of Mark like, was there cut content? Did they do a rewrite? To get this journal translated. Robbers get diseased every time. Is a fierce guardian of his really? Getting the information won't be easy. I've never bothered to actually, like, pay attention to that if my followers are going to get diseased. That's like I have to look into. I, I need to look into more about diseases. I guess I'm going to be talking about, um poisons in this video anyway, so I might as well cover diseases too, right? What exactly is a Falmer? Alright. Can I help you with anything else? Um, no. Thank you. That's that's also that's one of my most I hate that bug. Especially when that happens with uh with shop vendors. And they follow you outside and then their shop gets locked up for the day because they went outside. I knew I was overdue for a dragon fight. This, this is like one of the worst places to fight a dragon too. God damn it. Fuck. Can I? Need a ride? I can take you to any of the old capitals. Uh, can we do it like right fucking now? I, I guess not. Okay. Um. All right. Well, we got the Kishi Caravan here. Oh no! It's the hired thugs. The hired thugs during a random dragon attack. I wonder if they're gonna help with the, with the dragon. Oh no, they are they are hot on me. Oh no, this this isn't good. You got this dude just. 
<laughs> he just wants to finish his job and go home for the day. He's like, please, just let me get my shit done. Um, hmm. I don't want to fight a dragon and three hired thugs at the same time, so let's just, like, run to the city real fast. And there's another one on the grind. Uh, guards? Guards? Can I get some help here? Can I get some help here, please? Where are the guards? <laughs> so they're not gonna fight the thugs. All right. That, that's okay. I can I can take them on on my own. I guess. No, I refuse. We're, we're gonna survive this. We're getting through it. Now this is a Skyrim moment right here. Where's the dragon? Have you guys done anything to it? No, they haven't. Thanks for the gold, I guess. Oh yeah, the dragon's like not gonna land either. This is literally one of the worst spots to fight dragons. That was if I just go into the city. We're playing on expert right now. Um, let's go into the inn. Just gonna, just gonna. Why don't you give me a room? Yeah, you know what? We'll, we'll just, we'll, we'll just spend the night. How about that? Surely the guards will have it under control when I head out. Uh, I heard it. <laughs> I could, I could just fast travel out of here. I think I'm going to. I cannot fast travel. There are enemies nearby. So now we're going to get the dragon fight in the city. I wish I knew how how this worked. Because, so the dragon went through two different cells. Like, do the dragons exist? Like, I, I, don't, I don't know how they actually do that. It, it's kind of impressive that they can chase you into the interiors of cities. That, that would be a very easy detail for them to overlook. But also fighting them in the cities is kind of terrible. Because of this exact reason. <laughs> He's just going from perch to perch. Whatever. The guards should be able to handle it. No, I needed a dragon soul anyway. I'm just just gonna hide. I'm definitely not the dragonborn. Please do not ask me to fight this thing. Oh, 
I wonder what would happen if I used, uh... What is it? You know, the dragon rend. Like, where would it end up landing? Because there isn't even, like, open space for it. Oh. Uh, I, I guess that answers my question. I helped. I claim all the credit now. That's also the ch I've never seen a dragon only give one scale and one bone before. Is the game punishing me for not uh, for not participating enough? There you go. It's just that easy. How many dragon souls do I have? Oh wait, no, that was correct. It switched down to the map last second. All right, I have one dragon soul. I still want uh, throw voice. Where can I even get those anyway? I think one's in the Dark Brotherhood sanctuary. I can take you to any of the. Where do you want to go? Climb and back, and we'll be off. Where, 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 where. Let me see, where do we have throw voice? You know what would be nice, actually, would be marked for death as well. That would help with uh, melee damage. Oh god, what happened to the formatting on the UESP here? It's like half the... Half the words are just like busted there formatting. Ah, uh, marked for death is in the Brotherhood Sanctuary. So that's not throw voice there. Okay, but what I really want is throw voice. Oh man, it's, it's completely broken on my phone right now. It's like really broken. Oh, you get all the words from Shears from Sheer Point. Does that mean I need three to unlock it? Oh, that's right north of Felglo Keep as well. How about? Do a quick detour then. Do I have a fast travel location here? I do. Alright. 
think I have to kill like a dragon priest or something like that. Yeah, it should be fine. I think it's like up here somewhere. It's like directly north of Felglow Keep. Some people shooting at me. <laughs> Target standing still and you can't hit them? Yeah, I feel your pain. Can I calm him down? Oh no, mud crab. Somebody's still sniping me. Where'd that? Oh, there he is. These are like super low level, so. Oh, we'll leave them be. Oh, wait. No, Felgo Keep is. Oh, no, no, no. It's up here, actually. Right. It's north of Tundra Homestead. Then the other thing is like up there, I think. Alright, we we got a we got a bit of distance, we gotta walk. Switch my headphones. Yeah, I need me to recharge them. Rosas is there, and I will have to fight him as well. Hmm. Forgot about the dragon priest masks. Are there any priest masks I would want on this character? Or my stealth archer character. What's a good priest mask for a stealth archer? So I can actually wear those. Ideally, it'd be light armor. Because my character mostly wears light armor. Ah, oh, my game crashed again. Well, I guess I'll switch my headphones now. <laughs> God damn. I think I just quick saved. I don't know if these headphones are even going to work. 
me see real fast. Can I hear this? Yes. All right. All right, back in the game. One of my favorite things to do in this game is just walk around the open world and see if I missed anything in the wilderness. Yeah, um, this game has that appeal. Also, I think my sound is really freaking loud. It's kind of funny how Skyrim... Fallout 76 had this issue too, where it's like... It's nice to just wander around and stuff. And then you kind of realize that you don't do that very often. Because the games encourage you so much to just fast travel everywhere. And it's like, this is the best part of the game, is just wandering around the overworld. And so little of the game actually encourage it. Almost nothing in the games encourage you to actually do this. This is like when all the systems are working together and it's arguably when the game's at its best. Just going around, go clear out a little dungeon real fast for like 10 minutes. Alright, there's Shear's point. I don't know why the game keeps crashing like that though. That's a new one. Might actually be the character. Might actually be this save. Okay, so we got a dragon here. Didn't actually need that. Oh, it's a blood dragon too. Okay. Yeah, that's rough. Uh, not being able to consistently stun lock it with shield bash. Hmm. Man, I got healing magic. Yeah, this is going to require a bit of uh, finesse. Okay. If I stay away from its mouth, it's not going to do as much damage to me. Alright, alright, we got this, we got this. Easy. Easy. Now this is, yay, okay, yay, I remember this dude. <clears throat> Gameplay. Now, the Dragon Priest on the other hand. Okay, we got a level up. So we can get some instant health. Oh no, oh no, he has a fucking, oh. <laughs> Um, hmm. Hmm. No, 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 no. No. 
Okay, I'm going to tank that. Level up. Get my instant heal. Can I? Let me see real fast. Able to do a power bash. Bashing damage does 25%. That's disarming bash. Elemental protection. Oh, do I not? I thought there was... Wow, I already don't... Damn, I really purged a lot of information from my mind. I thought th I f thought there was a perk that let me stun lock easier. Maybe that has to do with just being able to block more damage or something like that. Because my other character definitely could stun lock enemies a lot more consistently than this one can. Okay, just just don't fall out of this rhythm. And if it doesn't work. This, now this is gameplay right here. This is peak Skyrim. Poor guy just did not stand a chance. Thousands of years entombed on this mountain. Buried with his faithful dragon companion. This is actually pretty decent. Lockpicking, archery, and alchemy are 20% better. Thanks for the staff. And then, yeah, he just gets shield stun locked and punched to death by some stupid asshole cat. Two dwarven swords. And a dwarf and great axe. Or great sword, rather. Alright. And I only need... Oh, no, no, no. I, I still need... So they just... Really? So they give you all three. Who got lazy here? I wish more, I wish more of them did this. Where they gave you all three. Wait. Wait. Look at the recharge time. So this is an interesting... Uh, okay, so I guess because there's not really much you can do with throw voice, except I guess more range, I suppose. So using the higher level shout decreases the recharge time. That's the balance of it. That's why you want a higher level one. I guess that's why they didn't... They, they just put all three onto one wall, because... I've never looked at this before. That is... V interesting. Alright, I'm gonna unlock two levels of it, I guess. What? Oh god. So this is the first time I've ever used this shout before. There's voice lines for it. And they're... stupid. Oh god. <laughs> so what's like the range on this thing? Let's like get up here. Let's see how far I can actually throw this thing. 
If you spawn yourself in the game, the NPC says the thorough voice lines. <gasps> That's got some range to it. Or Dragonborn's confirmed to vow Christian won't swear on his Minecraft server. <laughs> oh, okay. So it has... It, it does the same thing that, like, runes will do where if it's too far. I mean, I guess that's really what these are, is this shout is. It's just like a rune, really. Same system, I would just, I would imagine. Well, that's... F that is something. Or how have I... How have I played this game for this many years? And just found out that... That this, like, just has stupid lines associated with it. What happens if I use it on somebody? Oh, I gotta wait for the cooldown. Yeah, you know the the graybeards. They shout, "Hey, ugly!" at guards. This is Markarth, traveler. Safest city in the reach. <gasps> You've been seen in the company of the companions. That's an honorable path you're on, friend. <laughs> it's just. Oh, man. Ah, yes, this. Uh, let's let's let this play out. Actually, I don't want I don't want my quest sequence breaking because I didn't talk to Eltrice here. Oh, I think you dropped this. Some kind of hmm? no. I was just getting some fresh air. Add one too many pints of mead at the Silver Blood Inn. Until next time. Ah, cheese. Yes, of course. Actually, this is going to be a very useful shout, or it should be a useful shout for this, for this quest. What are you hiding, priest? I'm not hiding anything. It's closed for a reason. <laughs> First, you take away towers. Now you're keeping us from seeing our honored dead. You and the Jarl will answer for any desecration of my ancestors' bodies. That's enough, Thongor. We're done. Did you have anything? Ah, uh, oh, oh. Dangerous game I'm playing right now. Nice. That's why lock picking is or er, pickpocketing is so easy to level up. <laughs> How many levels did I get <laughs> from just those two dudes? Can I disenchant anything. Oh, you know, actually, that's uh. 
That's a decent amulet for me to wear. I don't know who I stole that from, but it's mine now. And the ring, I... Yeah, I'm wearing the ring. What are you doing here? The excavation site is closed. I don't need Do you idiots know who I am? I told you I'm not hiring any more guards. Why do you people always bother me when I'm trying to finish my research? You idiots! Do you even know who I am? The most recognized This dude's given some serious uh, content creator vibes. Bothering me. I I'm sorry, I I got too excited. I'm in the middle of some very stressful I have do you know who I am? I have twenty nine thousand subscribers on YouTube. I have fifty five patrons, I think now. We're at somewhere around there. How dare you try and talk to me? How dare you approach me? Um Then you were well informed. I am at this very moment on the cusp of completing I'm sorry. I just I just lost my temper. Preposterous. That research you must be mad to think I'd allow anyone to see it before it's completed. Do you realize that at a snap of my fingers, I can bring the entire Markarth city guard to my defense? You best rethink this course of action, or you may find yourself on the executioner's block. You should probably have me arrested immediately. While I appreciate the sentiment, I still, being an admirer, I'm sure you can appreciate the need. Well, I'm definitely not paying you. Very well. Perhaps when my research is complete, I'll feel more comfortable discussing my findings. Oh, hold on, hold on. Look, I'm very busy, so this better be important. Oh, but it is. You see, now I gotta steal everything that you have. Oh, yeah. Oh. Mud crab is now mine. Come with me, I have your deed. I have things to study. What is it? Sixty patrons. Even better. I do not wait online anymore at McDonald's. I just walk in and I just tell them uh, how many followers I have, and they're like, holy shit. Uh, I have the key. Does that count as permission? All right, then. I like how I can just close the conversation and walk away. Oh, it was an add up to roll. Or an add up door, rather. Yeah, Mud Crab's now mine. I wonder if that's going to give me a way to guards. What? Oh no. Uh, okay, so having the key does not mean I can just walk in. Who would have thought? You see, last time I did this quest, uh, I had permission to just walk in here, so I was kind of assuming that was still going to be the case. Oh, it's empty. Oh no. I think they saw I think they saw my incredibly cute mud crab. Alright, let's uh let's hurry this along, I guess. All right, mud crab, don't let me down here. Uh, I think we're good. Oh man, that mud crab, that sound, that sound of it walking behind me, really nice on my headphones right now.
I have a level up. Let's take care of that real fast. What am I even leveling up? <laughs> what am I even doing with this character anymore? I could do extra pockets. That's such a safe thing to invest in. Stealing people's equipped weapons. Always a funny meme. You know what? I'm actually going to get that. Uh, that's going to be very useful on this character, I think. Anything to even the odds in my favor. This character is all about just fighting extremely fucking dirty. Alright. So I have no idea what this spider is supposed to do. I tried messing with it on my other character. And it didn't really seem to do much. I don't know if it can, like, activate the traps or not. Or maybe it'll, like, attack enemies? Uh-oh. It didn't work! Oh. It will attack them. I need you guys to stand in a very specific spot. Wow, that thing's really fucking them up. He's just ignoring my... Just ignoring me. Oh, okay, he's kind of going for it now. Oh, my muffle wore off. <gasps> Apparently he is the cheese brain. He did not hear that. Oh, oh, no, he heard it now. It, it took him a minute. It took him a minute to process that he'd actually heard something. I don't have my gas mask, so... This part's gonna suck. I like how she's just casually walking between all those spinning blades, and... Wait for it. Wait for it. There she goes. Yeah, that's Skyrim NPC behavior. 
working as intended. Fucking mud crab behind me. Uh, am I even going the right way? Ah, yes, I am. Oh no, it's the House of Horrors. Molog Ball's here. No, no. Are you gonna run into the trap there? No. Oh no, I got a bounty? Ow. <laughs> They're all killing themselves on the fucking trap. She's just staring at the at the mud crab. Yeah, you know, the mud crab's just it's just, just such a charming little guy. Uh oh. How'd she detect me? Uh she just walked into the traps. There she goes. Simple enough. Oh god, I hate that. I have no idea what that is. This camera like whips up into the air and then down to the floor. All right, maximized our the carnage we caused, carnage and chaos. Look, the designers intended for it to be played out that way. Oh, nice. The mud crab can open doors. What can I even do with it? I can give it stuff to carry. I wonder what its carry capacity is. Do I have any, like, dragon bones on me? It took a single dragon scale. Or dragon bone. And dragon scale. Give it the model ship here. Hold on. Oh, I can't actually. Quest item. 20 pound carry capacity. It's very different than the way you did it. You did it with more sneaking and less death. I actually kind of like this quest. Um, I feel like it could have used a little bit. I, I think the worst thing that happens to this quest is it has to contend with, um, Accidents Skyrim like AI. Is trying to sabotage my uncle's research. I... But they do give you a bunch of different tools and stuff to go through this. Probably too many tools, but... But shouldn't we inform Master Kalselmo? I'll deal with my uncle. Just go. Scour this place from top to bottom. Is there someone there? Okay, so that took the guards away, but it didn't take him away. Oh no. He detected me. So last time I did this, I got detected. I want to do this without getting detected. Accidents 
like this don't just happen. Someone is trying to sabotage my uncle's research. I... All right. If there is a thief, he won't leave this tower alive. But shouldn't we inform Master Calselmo? I'll deal with my uncle. <gasps> just go. Oh, someone there? Yes. All right. Sweet. There we go. Dwarven armored mud crab in its natural environment. I've been looking for you. This is the museum. Yep, yeah, it's the museum. <laughs> Bro. Am I wearing a fucking cowbell or something? Uh, get that dude on the fucking force. Holy crap. He can sniff anybody out. Those, those guards were worthless. Let me know if you want. I think I got a clean mug around here somewhere. I don't deal with any college applicants these days, so don't bother us. Okay, now a car. You don't need to come off so strong. Was there something else? No, no, not nothing else. No, I, I'll just be going, I guess. I suppose it would be inappropriate of me to ask how you obtained this, so I simply won't. A rubbing, eh? Odd. I expected notes. Uh, it's a long I story. Now, let me take a good look at this. Over here, please. Hmm. This is intriguing, but highly disturbing. It appears that Gallus had suspicions about Mercer Frey's allegiance to the guild for months. Arlia. Are we sure he's not Mercer Frey? I mean, just, you hear the voice, right? This it, this is a, a setting with illusion magic, after all. Is there anything I can steal around here while they fucking talk? I can get a mammoth tusk for uh for Isolda. Yes, here it is. The last few pages seem to describe the failure of the nightingales, although it doesn't go into great detail. Gallus also repeatedly mentions his strong belief that Mercer desecrated something known as the Twilight Sepulchre. Shadows preserve us. So it's true. I like how this whole conversation does not sound like Enthir at all. What is it? What, what's Mercer Frey done? I'm sorry, Luther. I can't say. Yeah, that definitely I'm sounds like Enthir, all right. Translation to the guild immediately. Farewell, Enthir. Words can't express. It's all right, Carlia. You don't have to say a word. Listen. All I want is the truth to be revealed. Do whatever you can, and I'd consider it. If you ever manage to get... I've been known to handle items of questionable interest from time to time, and I'll... Oh, yeah, this always, oh, also triggers me, too. When you unlock a... You unlock a fence, but you have to finish the quest before they actually become a fence. So, like, they'll, they'll say, yeah, I'll handle the stolen goods. It's like, great, I have a bunch of stolen goods you can take right now. No? I, I guess not. If you have further need of me, you can you find must me to Riffin before Mercer can do any more damage to the guild. You've come this far. So I the Twilight Sepulchre is the temple to Nocturnal. It's what the Nightingales are sworn to protect with their lives. Uh-huh. Everything now it seems uh -huh. is broken. Uh-huh. 
I think given time you'll understand what there's anointing uh -huh. I know the guild doesn't do much to well. I'll make for in the meantime I wanted you to have this if the guild isn't willing to something. listen to reason, what the? you might have to <laughs> problem in <laughs> theater did you just notice <laughs> the mud crab sitting in your floor yeah, she gave me the fucking nightingale bleed, right? Thanks. Uh, I'll be sure to sell this. I mean, I'll put it to good use. Who are you? So did Carlia send you again, or are you here on your own this time? Wait, where did Carlia go? Oh, she must have drank another invisibility potion. I got it. I don't deal with any college app. Uh, I got. Well, you know, go get the. Skeleton key, I guess. I like when it burrows itself into, like, concrete and stuff. Pretty neat trick. Oh. What? Wait, what? I used that earlier, right? Is it just locked because of this quest? See, I wouldn't know last time I see seed into into the guild. Oh, god damn, it's so annoying. Oh, they force you to go in the long way here. Why? Why do they force you to go in the long way? I, li I literally see seed into it last time when it was perfectly fine. Nothing broke. Bethesda just wants to be, make extra sure that, uh, that nothing breaks. I'm glad you're here. Yeah, last time I just came through the back way and walked over to her. Are you ready to face the guild? What if Mercer is there? So what's funny too is, um, between Snowvale Sanctum and this point, if you come back to the guild, um, Mercer's not here, Brynjolf's not here, Vex isn't here, I think Delvin might not be here as well. Like, everybody who might give a shit about this is just mysteriously absent. Keep your eyes open. I'm not sure what to expect when we enter the system. You know, the NPCs that barely ever sleep. For whatever reason, their sleep packages are all fucked up. So, like, Delvin will sleep for, like, two hours a day in the middle of the day. Um, yeah, all of those NPCs and stuff just, you know, they just went, took a sabbatical for a few days, you know. Had to, had to get out. The the smell of the, the ratways and stuff, it gets to be too much. Actually, I, I think they're still not here. Oh, because they're in the other room now, right? It's another to actual use, though. You can keep walking, you know. Don't wait on me. Don't let me hold you up. If you use the console to teleport to them, where are they? Ooh, that's a good question. Hmm. I'm willing to bet they don't exist. They probably just get despawned. Do I have... Hold on, I, I want to see real fast. Do I have... So this was after Snowfail Sanctum, right? Yeah. Alright, I'm going to reload to here after, after we get through this whole thing. I'm going to use console commands to teleport myself to their location. Yes, a journal that nobody can read. 
Oh, I'm, I guess Enthir not only did a translation on the spot, he also transcribed that translation perfectly into the journal. Let me see. No, it can't be. Which, wouldn't that, wouldn't that also really call into question the, uh, the authenticity of the fucking journal? It's like, okay, we have this journal that nobody can read, so we had it brought it to a dude who translated it. But even, so like, even if Brynjolf could identify what's his face is handwriting which is already a big stretch he probably wouldn't be able to identify it in the former language so he could just literally be like uh what is this nonsense i can't read any of this am i is this supposed to be evidence whatsoever ah oh, they must have forgotten that the that the journal was written in the former language I just completely forgot about the last quest already oh no it's fallout 76 all over again we're getting plot points the next quest line or the next quest rather is that did you guys hear that i think mercer's inside then i said i would take a break from skyrim i did for a few months i worked on a fall 76 video instead now it's back to skyrim unfortunately God, this, <laughs> this is so fucking stupid. Who are you gonna cut? He's not here. Are you gonna cut us? Are you threatening to kill us all? Oh right, Vex is Vex is the uh, irrational uh, female counterpart during this quest line. She's a Delphine of uh, of the Thieves Guild. Why is Bethesda do that? Before I help you track Mercer down, I need to know what you learned from Carlia. I mean, everything. Uh, they were banging. Did you know that? I, I feared that was the case. From that, anything else? Uh, they were banging. Did you know that? Nightingales. But I always assumed they were just the tail. Was there anything else she told you? Um. They were. She, she was behind Golden Glow. Why? Why does that make it? Why does what? How does that make Mercer look bad in front of the, in front of Maven? Explain, Brynjolf, please. Then I have an important task for you. I need you to break into Mercer's home and search for anything that could tell us where he's gone. I. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I know how it goes. Just find a way in. Get the information and leave. And you I think one of my favorite one of my favorite uh lines from Brynjolf is when I ask for payment, he's just like, "Ah, you're looking to get paid. That's pretty clever of you." It's like it's, it, it, sure. Sure. If if you think that that makes me clever. It really speaks volumes to the uh, quality of the help that we have in the uh, in the guild at this point. Okay, so now we got to find out. Uh, let me just verify real fast. This is after Snowvale Sanctum, right? Yes. All right. Perfect. So what we can do right now. Oh. Let's see, Riften Use Guild HQ. Uh, what did I fuck up? What am I screwing up? C-O-C Riften Thieves Guild Oh, I was putting HQ instead of Headquarters. Right. Alright. So, if we come back to the guild. Now, you, you have all of the foot pads here. Need something? Anybody seen uh, Brynjolf for... Oh, I'm, I'm curious. 
Oh, he must have emptied it already. But we'll check that too before uh, Nightingale's fact or fiction. Oh. It's foreshadowing. Uh, yeah, I'm almost willing to bet that thing's always empty. Not that it has to be full, obviously, but it would be a funny attention to detail. So yeah, still no Brynjolf. Um, obviously Mercer's gone. He's not, for whatever reason, he's not going to return to the guild. Though he had to steal all the money and every... I guess he stole all of it before he went to Snowvale Sanctum. That must have been it. Okay, so... Snow... No Brynjolf. Ready for some oh, here's Vex. Maybe they're all just asleep then? Alright, there's Delphin. Okay, alright, so it's only Brynjolf who's mysteriously absent. Alright. That doesn't make- that's still weird, but it's not as bad as I thought. Stick to the well, I might as well. I've got coin oh wait, I've got uh, I'm on a different save, this doesn't matter. Uh, okay, so that actually makes it easier then. I just need to find Brynjolf then. Um, Alright, so I need his base ID. Or his reference ID, rather. He might be doing something on his doing his own work out there. Yeah, that's that would that would be amazing. Uh, PRID. Okay, so he exists somewhere. Um, does this go player move to? Oh, mm, and we could do this, right? Move to player. Need a few spare septums? I got the cure right here. Wait, did that move Vex? Make it quick. Huh. Ready for some work, or are you just? So I I have him selected. Um, is it teleport player? Fuck, I forgot what this, I forgot what the code, or what the console command is. Hold on. for USP to load. Move to move a character to a specified actor and vice versa. Okay. Player dot move to. Is a reference ID. 
Oh, I need the reference ID. All right, let me see. Oh. Oh. So apparently he's here. Is he invisible? Yes. yes. Nah, he's he's probably teleported here but disabled. Ah. All right. Well, that answers that. Ready for some work, or are you just gonna wander around all day? Well, that's that's all I wanted to get out of that. <laughs> uh, there's one other thing that I want to check before we continue. Um, does the vault actually have anything? Enable with console. Uh, we could try that. Well, we can give that shot real fast. It should still be selected. Um, right, and then enable. Ah, <gasps> sorry, lad. I've got important things to do. We'll speak another time. Sorry, lad. I've got important things to do. He's back. We'll speak another time. <laughs> but he won't talk to us. Let's Sorry, let's, fo let's follow let's follow him and see where he do. goes. We'll speak another time. Let's see where are you going? So the reason he was probably in there was because I used the move, uh, the command to teleport him in there earlier. So let's see where he's really gonna go. Oh. Sorry, lad. He might it, he might literally just be standing here. Yep. Sorry, lad. I've got Now where is he? Now where did he go? Oh. Is this a normal idle animation for him? I don't think I've ever seen him sitting here like this. I don't think he normally has that idle animation. So he's just gonna... Oh, is he gonna leave? No. Wait, is he? No, no, no. He's, he's just gonna wander around here doing idle animations. That's hilarious. <laughs> I don't know what that's supposed to prove or anything, but that's just funny. How they achieved that. Um, okay. I want to check to see if there's actually anything in the vault now. Uh, let me just make sure. Alright. This is the Golem Eye quest. Am I going to scale my hand to hand? Um, I basically have done about as good as, about as well as I'm going to be able to do. Oh, I don't think I have it on this character, or on this save, rather. Um, there's a CC item that lets you do like 20%. Oh, he does do this idle animation. Okay. What did you need? Sorry, Mercer Freya, I'm just... Uh... Yeah, as I, as I expected. 
it's just empty already. He emptied it out. Oh, right. Didn't they say they've been? he's been emptying the vault for years? So it probably has been. Oh, wait, no. But then Delvin and Vex would have noticed. No, okay, so that doesn't check out. Sorry. Sorry, I'm trying to do the writer's job for them. Try to explain how Mercer managed to empty out this entire place without anybody noticing in the span of, like, you know, very fucking quickly. Alright. Back to our regularly scheduled programming. Why are there perishables in the vault? Um, you know, if somebody gets locked in there, they, they gotta have some food to eat. Can't have somebody getting stuck in there and then starving to death. I dare Mercer to come back here. Set one foot in the cistern and I'll cut it off. Why are you all, like, armed and everything? Who are you going to fight? That's what I want to know, like... I dare Mercer to come back here. You guys, Vex? What, 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 what is... What's up with all you people? What did Mercer do with the money? He probably blew it on hookers and skooma, let's be honest. Ah, right. I gotta deal with... Vald. Hi. This is Mercer Frey's place and he do No visitors, no way. Now piss off before you make me mad. <laughs> That's funny. You think you can take me on? Try it any time. I've been itching for a fight. Mercer needs you in Markarth. Oh, come on, I ain't that dumb. <laughs> God damn it. That worked on my last character. You ain't got enough coin to make my problems go away. Unless you can talk Maven Blackbriar into letting me out of my debt. You try and set one foot in this yard and I'll cut it off. See ya. Bye. Same energy. Hmm. No, oh, let me, uh, not just... I don't remember if this gate also needed a key. Yeah, it does. See, is this a way that you can just kill him? I mean... I might be able to just do something like this? Uh, okay, now. Oh, no. Oh, guess it's death then for old Vald here. He's not really doing much damage to me. He was tanky, but he didn't really have much in the way of uh, damage dealing. Oh, door's barred from the other side. I know, I know, I'm supposed to shoot the thing to get it to come down, but I don't have a bow. Did Vald have a bow? I have an arrow. Hold on. Before I do anything else, can I do something like unrelenting force on it? 
Ah. Okay. Okay. This this is actual gameplay here. Whirlwind sprint to jump into the into the into the courtyard. And then Fusaro to knock the knock the ramp down. This is this is how this game should be. This sh this should be the standard here. Glad nobody heard that. Right, let's get throw voice back on. Yeah, see, there's other people in this house. <laughs> they just did not hear me beating that man to death. I just need the the one that lets me take their armor too. And we'll really be in business. How far am I away from that? Uh, I'm quite a bit of ways. I need to level up my lock picking some more before. Um I should probably be doing magica, actually, now I'm thinking about it. do illusion dual casting that might actually be worth getting now it's a kindred mage instead there's a duplication glitch with blood chill cavern and mire watch So I accidentally did the uh, companion duplication glitch on my other character. Because I was telling him to pick up stuff inside a... Uh, that I dropped on the ground. I told him to pick it up inside of a dungeon. And then... Um, I went back to that dungeon a few days later. And yeah, the items duplicated. So I was able to get all those... Uh, I didn't need that iron shield. Um, I was able to get all the... Uh, what, what was I... When did I end up duplicating? Um, what did I duplicate on it? Dwarven... Uh, dwarven, like, scrap metal and stuff like that. That's what it was. So that means I get to talk about the duplication glitch now, because it happened diegetically in-game. Which is fun. I completely forgot that was that was even a thing in this game. Forgot that duplication existed in this game. So, it's a funny way for it to remind me that it exists. Come on. It's, oh, this is an expert lock. Okay, that explains why I'm having trouble here. Fine, I got 40 more lock picks. Damn it. Forgot Shoal Rend was locked as well. Well, that's just more more XP, I guess.
duping enchanted staves and hearthstones from Mire Watch, then using Bloodshell Cavern lets you get max enchanting skills super quick. Really? Can I put Chill, chill Rend back in its case? No, I can't. I like how the case says Chill Rend's display case, too. You would, th you would think, seeing as it has a named display and everything, that they would have given it, like, a unique model and stuff, and not just made it, like, slightly blue. God, what an, what an ugly weapon. Jeez. They really screwed up the glass. My, my female character is wearing glass armor, and um, it looks terrible. It looks absolutely awful, the female uh female glass armor. What are we here for? Ah, uh, the Lusty Argonian Maid, of course. Now, what does this say? What what is what does the d designer want us to think about Mercer Frey? You can reach my Fallout 76 extended cut without subscribing to my Patreon. Um, the video is just unlisted. If you manage to find it, um, I don't know how you actually managed to find it unless somebody gave you a link to it. But, I mean, yeah, it's just an unlisted video, so if you got the link, you would be able to see it. Uh, enjoy, I guess? <laughs> I'm not gonna, like, yank it down or something like that. He had a shortcut in... into the ratways. Now, it'd be funny as if he had a shortcut into the vault. And it's like, ah, oh, that's how he got in there. Um, well, there's the exit. And you get into Frey's house the other way around. Well, I just, I just did a drop down, so, I mean, unless you have illegal lev levitation magic. scoured the town and I've spoken Shore's beard. He's going after the eyes of the Falmer. Now, if he gets his hands on them, you can be certain he'll be gone for good and set up for life. Why? They're only worth like 2,000 gold apiece. It's like four. I, I may I clear more than that just clearing out a dungeon. Um. Also, this makes me wonder how much money was in the vaults then? If the, if the 4,000 gold eyes of the Falmer are so valuable, what do we have in there? Like, 500 gold in those chests? guild has left, and to go after one of the last greatest heists is just an insult. I've spoken to Carlia and made amends for how the guilds treated her. Also, now she wishes to speak with both if we had all these plans no for all these heists and stuff sitting in there, um... Why haven't we done any of them? Especially since these were done made by Gallus, you know, like 25 years ago. Nobody thought. So. Like, I know the meme is that we're. Like, the Thieves Guild is cursed now and everything, so. I, I would be dubious about doing, like, really risky jobs and stuff when nothing is going right. But. It is implied that that's been like a degenerative issue that the guild has been slowly getting more and more unlucky as time has gone on. So like, after Gallus's death and everything, why didn't you guys just start knocking out all those heists? Like surely, at, like by five years after he was dead, all those heists should have been completed at that point. It's just, it, you know, just just throwing that out there. I guess this is why they want to make me the the guild leader. Right. Another conversation I can't skip through. I lost, and I've come to a decision. Mercer Frey tried to kill both of you. He betrayed the guild, murdered Gallus, and made us question our future. He needs to die. You have to be very careful, Brindle. Mercer is a nightmare. 
How is he a nightingale if he betrayed his oaths? Wouldn't Nocturnal have revoked his nightingale status like she did with you? Why does none of this make any sense? God damn, the nightingale stuff, like... The stuff at so Snowfell Sanctum was really stupid, and then you get to the nightingale stuff and it's just like... They just gave up even trying to make any of this make any sense. Are you going to disappear again? Are they going to disable you again, Brunjolf? I'm preparing to leave for the Standing Stone. What is it? Yeah, you're definitely preparing, all right. Is it because I'm just standing? No, no. This is her preparation. She's actually meditating right now. Uh, all right. Um, trying to think. All right, so we can go become nightingales. Uh, I don't need any of that armor, so it's kind of pointless. Then we could, I guess, go kill Mercer Frey. Am I up for that? Is there really anything else that I can even do to prepare better? I don't think so. Now, I'd probably want to fight him sooner rather than later. I wonder if he's level scaled. Well, that's, there's something I haven't considered before. Is Mercer Frey level scaled? That's something I'll have to look into. I should actually make note of that. Because they keep hyping him up that he's, like, super dangerous and stuff. And I don't know. The only thing that he has right now that's even remotely scary is that vampiric sword. Like, you know, he was doing... He was holding his own in the... In uh, Snowvale Sanctum. But I wouldn't say he was, like, terrifying or anything. And then there's all the crap that they start hyping up the, uh, the skeleton key with. Like, he tears down a tower with it in in the in the uh Falmer place just somehow just knocks down a tower with it maven is that you try it out what would you need a leather harness for anyway <laughs> it's <a> <laughs> Oh, it's you. Come to extort more from me? Um... I don't know why I bother. Yeah, I wasn't thinking about it, but... Now that you mentioned it... So I'm only going to say this and live one tell about it. If you ever try and practice the rebellion arts with Hemming again... Oh, wait, then that, that is in sure Maven's voice. Is it Maven's voice actor? He wasn't protesting, Maven. Of course he wasn't, you stupid whore. He was <laughs> now I'm not going to warn right. you again. Buy He's armor from Grelf. Never heard this conversation Very before. God damn, Maven. Grelka, how fast can you? Perhaps no, Branch Shay doesn't have anything. I don't usually deal in weapons, but I know some. Who can get them for me? You mind a little extra to get them fast? I don't care what it costs. I need four longbows and four score of arrows. Make it happen. I'll contact my man tonight and let you know what he says. God damn it, Modesto, you're blowing up my spot here. Damn, no wonder Maven didn't give me a good reward. She has nothing on her. Oops. No, oh, no, no, no. It's, it's fine. I'm with the guild. I'm with the guild. Oh, they might. They just might not like me because I 
Just tried to steal from Maven. Oh, no, no, I submit. I submit. Hmm. Was that a bug? Or is it- or are they actually programmed to hate crime? Hate crimes committed against Maven. Oh, nice save. I get to listen to that line again. Now I'm curious. Hold on. What happens if I like... What? 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 I was able to pickpocket her just... In broad daylight? Have I been doing pickpocket wrong? Is the is the eye open? Like, can I pickpocket people while I'm detected? What? Really? Okay, okay, it says detected there. Okay, she's staring at me. I mean, it says 90% chance to steal. Really? Oh. Holy shit, I've been doing it wrong this whole time. Huh. Huh. Okay. Wow. That would have saved me a lot of time. Also, I'm having trouble actually getting <laughs> caught pickpocketing. <laughs> Will somebody please catch me that isn't Maven? Looking to stay alive? What? Take a chance. I want to see if the guards are going to like Working at the Rifton Fishery is tough. I had to put some coin in my pocket. Please. How dare you? Oh, she she took all this stuff back. I can't take this place anymore. The trees, all the colors. Heard they're informing the dawn guard. How does crime work in this game? Might consider joining up myself. Hey, I saw you steal. All right, there we go. I'm with the guild. It's fine. Okay. Now where'd Maven go? Should go inside. If you've got the coin, you've come to the right place. Pull up a seat. Yeah. What's your problem? Looking for work? Never should have come here. No, no, no. It's fine. This time. Mm-hmm. Wow. So I could have been doing this the entire time, huh? No. Oh. Sapphire, please. And because I'm in the guild, I can just pay like 25 gold to clear my bounty. Sapphire's coming to defend my honor after I robbed her. Guard wants nothing to do with this. Alright. Alright. <laughs> Oh my god! <laughs> Sapphire, what the fuck? Oh. What happened? Well. Oh, nice ring. I'll take that, I guess. Um My skill in battle is unmatched. You have some nerve coming back here after what you did to Kirava. That that was not me. That was not me. That was Sapphire. I had nothing to do with that. You cannot prove anything. Go ask the guards. They'll deny it. 
Sure thing. It's yours for a day. Have you seen that shrine of Azura? They say the Dark Elves built it after they fled from... Mo I'll, I'll show you to use a drink. Right this way. What do you say? What do you think you're doing? Someone do something. Nothing. Oh no, yeah. Sapphire. <laughs> So I can just turn Sapphire into my personal hitman, it seems. What's your problem? Damn. My skill and I'll, I'll leave you alone. <laughs> I don't want to watch. I don't want to watch uh, Sapphire kill him too. I guess I can Damn. I keep getting caught. There goes another one. <laughs> so, disposition flags. They they tried to fix them from oblivion, but uh it's, 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 um uh, I, I, I don't think it worked. <laughs> it just <laughs> Hmm. What a shame, damn. My skill in battle is unmatched. Now he's got to be essential, right? That skill can be bought. Oh. Looking for work? Doesn't even have anything on him anymore. A message to City Blackbriar. Yeah. What's your problem? What a waste. Sorry, I'm afraid I can't help you much right now. Currently in mourn. Why? Why are you mourning? You caught me at a bad time. I guess I'll never find out. Where did Maven go? You're a stranger here too, huh? Upset about anything. The city really gets to her. I still need to confirm that Maven's like under protection of the guards. Let's see if I can get her back here to start bullying people again. There she is. There's my mark. I've never seen the old this upset about anything. Where have you come from? Oh shit. Nope, she's not under the personal protection of the guard. That was just a glitch. Now, move along before you get me in trouble. Even? Where'd, where'd she go? One day I'll venture out and see if she's right. <laughs> this is this is insanity. I should not have discovered this. Neol's brought me nothing but safety. You have committed crimes against Sky. I can make all your problems with it. Done. No wonder I've been told that uh, training pickpocket is super easy in this game. There's an apothecary in town, yes, but it's down in the lower I mean, it would be a lot more difficult if I wasn't part of the Thieves Guild, because I can literally... Because they, they don't take your items away when you bribe them like that. That's what makes it so good. I can make all your and just for 12 gold, now, just <laughs> you get wipe it all out. Got you thinking. Maybe I'm the dragonborn, and I just don't know it yet. Why you? You have committed crimes against. I can make all your problems with it. Done. Now. My mind move. Where am I? Oh wow. Oh, there's two level ups from that. Where am I on pickpocket? That's pretty crazy that I'm already able to pickpocket that effectively and I don't even have all the levels in pickpocket yet. 
I need 10 more to get the one that lets me take people's armor. That's really what I'm working towards. I, you get me in what did you need? I just need your stuff for the XP. <laughs> God damn. <laughs> I mean, surely being stealth makes me better? Disguise, traveler. I know your kind. Always sneaking about. Uh, don't go looking for your sword now. Buying and selling, buying and oh, she has something for me. You little thief. Here we go. <laughs> Cards, help. I can make all your problems. <laughs> you like that setup too, huh? Fist and shield? Sheath those claws, Kaji. This is hilarious. Uh oh, I'm carrying too much. Oh, hold on. Um I wonder. What if I reverse pickpocket all this stuff that I stole onto him? Oh, he did not like that at all. Hey, everyone, come quickly. I have something I must show you all. You will not believe what I have brought for all of you today. Uh, here you can take that stuff, take these daggers, take this, this. Keeping all the, uh... I like how I was stealing people's clothing, too. Where'd I even get, the, where'd I even get this amulet from? It's not stolen. Is there anything else? Us. A shield that I couldn't put on the dude. Ah, uh, yes. All the food that I've been stealing from everyone. I'm gonna eat that meat pie. Sure. Oh, well. Uh, <laughs> thank you. I knew it. Oh no, is Branch Shea gonna get killed? Is this his canon, the canon outcome? Oh my god, Mule. Mule, all that stuff was stolen, you know. <laughs> Yep, there goes Brand Shea. Yeah, we're just we're just losing people left and right here. I've never seen Mule this upset about anything. The city really gets to her. Ah, yeah, I can tell. She really she really lost it there. She fucking killed Brand Shea in cold blood over some garbage that I dropped. Do I have anything else I can drop? I, I think I want to keep the rest of this. You shouldn't leave weapons laying around. <laughs> someone could get hurt. And if I see you do it again, that someone will be you. Have I made myself clear? Yeah, but I don't care. <laughs> no? Do you care about rotting away for a month in a cell? Ah, uh, but nobody wants that, right? Painful for you, annoying for me. So... You pay my fine, and you walk away. What? I have to pay a fine? 
from talking lip. See, it wasn't so difficult. <laughs> New in town, eh? Here for the fishing, I guess. The pocket fishing, sure. Oh, I already stole everything off of him. Oh, speaking of, can I take my money back? You have committed crimes against Skyrim and her people. I have seen what say you this, this dude's not having it with me. Sounds good. Yeah. I can make all your problems with the guards go done. Now move along before you get Thank you for the 20 Norwegian kroner. Oh, hey, remember that thing you were talking about, about dropping weapons and stuff? Um, don't, don't ask where I got those from. Wait, you still have arrows on you. Why can't I take those? Um, how about that shield that you were carrying? And take that back, too. I, I, I just, I just needed the... Just need the XP. Stay out of trouble, Tajit. Yeah, oh, that's that that's my middle name. Working at the Rifton Fishery is tough. Oh no you don't. Guard! Wait, no, no, stop. Stop right there. I can make all your problems with done. Now move along. This dude's this dude's really had it with me. 94 pickpocketing now. Um, what city can I safely cause some chaos in? Uh, people of Solid probably have some money that I can take real fast. Oh, what? Oh. Oh, it was 8 a.m. I thought it was 8 p.m. It looked so dark. Oh, they're reforming at dawn. You have committed crimes against Skyrim and her people. Oh, you shit. Oh, no. Is he going to take all my stolen stuff if I pay my bounty? Smart map. The road to Whiterun is not safe these days. Oh, Lots maybe he doesn't. Uh, oh, no. No, he, he took all the stolen stuff. Okay. Okay, because the Thieves Guild is not established here yet, I can't bribe the guards here. Uh, okay. That makes more sense. Wow, so that makes just absolutely pillaging Riften super profitable. Um, hmm. Hmm, what can I do? Yeah, I gotta do five radiant quests and do the special one in order to bribe them. Not in Riften. Yeah, because my other character, I was able to bribe everyone everywhere because... Wait, what? I got kicked out of the guild? It's a shame you got booted from the guild. Things were going so well. What? That's I I did not I was not notified of this. I will have some choice words with Brynjolf. <laughs> Things might be a little bit scuffed at this point. Are you crazy? What were you thinking? You can't just go around doing things the way you please. Now we have to kick you out until things cool down. Can't give you any jobs or payouts for goods. Go talk to Vex. She'll tell you the whys and hows if you want to get back in. <laughs> what did I do? Did I just... Oh, was it because I fucked with Maven? Uh... Thank you for joining, uh, joining the wow. 
Privy Council there, Hoodlum Saturn. I'm gonna make this short and sweet, because frankly, I don't think you deserve another shot. You've broken the rules, and now you need to pay. And it's gonna cost you quite a bit. This is the Thieves Guild, genius. How do you think? With gold. A lot of gold. Did you think we'd accept a heartfelt apology and let bygones be bygones? Um, can you just explain to me what I did wrong? I, I was doing a lot of shit up there. It, uh, I'm, I might have gotten just a little bit mixed up. Who did I, uh, who did I screw over? I'd say it's time you put your nose to the grindstone and figure it out for yourself. You claim to be a thief. Act like one. Pick pockets, knock over houses. Heck, I don't care if you have to bust into a palace. You do what you have to do to come up with the coin. You'd how much do I have to pay you? Because until you do, you don't get a single coin from us. Also, how am I supposed to fence stolen goods expenses. if I'm not in Anything the guild? You steal, you bring it straight to me. Oh. Now get out of here and don't come back until your pockets are full. How much do I owe you? One thousand gold? Oh, I definitely have that already. I hope you brought a little something for me. It's all here. Well, congratulations. You're one of us again. Next time you decide to pull a stunt like that, can you please tell me what I way. did wrong? <laughs> Even if you're one of us, you better not make trouble. Need it's one thing to say you've got the skills got the cure to right here. Got lots of jobs available. Hey, I'm back. Stick with me and help them um, there. Okay, I need How close am I to level up? You'll have quite a good bit of jobs to Oh, wait. Stick with me. Right. And it'll never even know you're there. So I can just do this now. Oh, crap. That's only a 36% chance, though. Need some gold. I may have some work for you. All right. Now it's time to save scum. Got lots of jobs. Need some me. gold. Stick with me. And it'll never even know you're there. Uh, it might be a little bit a little little tricky. Oh wait, actually, yeah, I can I can invest a couple of perk points. And I got cut purse already. Damn, it's still fifty six percent. The only way this guild's gonna continue to grow. So Can you please stop catching me. Sorry, B, if you're ever looking for some extra coin. I have work if you still have quite backbone. a good bit of jobs of looking for work. Stick with me, and they'll never even know you're there. Now this this is how it's done. Got lots of jobs. Stick with me, and they'll never even know you're there. There we are, 100 pickpocket. How about you run a job for me? Um, do I want another level in sneak? I mean, I might as well, right? Round it out. Still have quite a good stick with me, and they'll never even know you're there. Nice. Uh, let's do some magic now. There we have it. Now we can take people's armor off of them. And I got two perk points to spare. Illusion? Dual casting? Alright, nothing else here. Could go another level of sneak. It's been a long time since anyone joined us. I don't care if your best buddies were. Oh right, I want to fence some stuff too. If stick to the rule. I've got coin and I've got merchandise. Let's see what we can do. I I listen. I got a lot of stuff from upstairs. Oh here, you can take that. I'm gonna hold on to this actually. Or, uh, the Mercer Frey fight. Now.
you'll excuse me. If you're looking for extra work, talk to Vex or Delvin. Why oh, my mudcrap can find me stuff. And we'll see what kind of deal found me a soul gem. Thank you. I, I love having having uh, followers and stuff that are just going to dump random garbage into my inventory. That's a great way to screw with my sanity. Uh, no. Until next time. Oh, how do I do this? How do I do this bug? All right, so what you do is you left click on the uh, on the thing here, drag it all the way to the end, hit E, and then slam it all the way to the end, and then let go, and it uh instantly skip. If you're looking for usual guild rate, let's take a look at them. Yeah, I can safely say at this point that. Uh, that bug has saved me several hours of my life doing these videos all right, then. for this exact reason, like all this just inventory management nonsense. You better... there's, there's one quest in CC where if you don't wait 10 days after between finishing a quest and reading a note, um, It'll like cause a bug that causes all sorts of glitches and everything. So I, I just waited f literally for ten days using that, using that UI bug. Very helpful. Oh, I just sold something that was f that was sneaking. I don't know what that was. I have a lot of jewelry, and I think I've been stealing almost all of it. This is why making money on a thieves guild character is insanely easy. Even if you're one of us, you better not make trouble. You can reset their gold by swinging. Yeah, yeah, I use that bug too. Um, it doesn't work on fences though, apparently. So I have to do the weight thing. But yeah, I do that. I do that for um, normal vendors. It's very helpful for if you're looking for certain items that you want to buy off of them as well. Until next time. Yeah, I, I got through Sarian without resorting to these sorts of uh, exploits, but after after my first playthrough, I was like, all right, it's 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 time to start doing these things because I I need to get these videos like out eventually at some point, you know. Oh, I had pickpocketing uh, potions that I could have been using for those crime sprees. How silly of me. Uh, do I want... Uh, I'll hold on to one of those. Oh, this thing won't do anything. I don't need any of that stuff. Take that. So much more crap to sell. See, it helps when you complete the uh, all the radiant quests uh, for the thieves guild because she'll have four thousand gold instead. So, feeling loose? How about you run a job for Damn, it really doesn't help that she keeps trying to walk off somewhere else. Special rates to members of the thieves guild. Damn it. Usual guild rate. Let's take a look at them. Hate this UI.
Until next time. Riveting Skyrim gameplay here. Unfortunately, it's kind of essential. Because I don't want to run into over encumbrance issues. Usual guild rate. Let's take a look at them. Uh, sure. Next time. I have work if you've got the backbone. I give special rates to members of the Thieves Guild. Show me what you've got. Now I'm holding on to that for a special someone. <laughs> I don't know where those spoons came from. All right, that, that's good enough. Nice and light. Let's uh, go become a nightingale, I guess. Man, I'm still, like, kind of shell-shocked by just how bad the um, pickpocketing actually is. I literally thought you had to stay undetected, because, you know, that makes sense. Oh, my God. <laughs> the changing of the guard. Don't do anything stupid over here. Be dead in a second. Unless... Oh wait, I don't need pickpocketing experience anymore. Never mind. The Imperials think we need their laws. Do you have the Grey Fox Cow... Grey Fox Cowl invalidated? To invalidate Nocturnal Steel. Huh. You know, I didn't think about the implication of that. I mean, surely she can see through it, right? It is her thing. What if I give her back the Great Cowl? Can we trade Nocturnal? Can I give you the Great... Again? So my other character, I had a dragon fight here as well. Like, literally at this exact point. Oh, cool. I can double the footage for this, I guess. Yeah, like, what if what if we just traded Nocturnal? I'll give you the Grey Cowl, and you let me keep the Skeleton Key. Sounds fair. I mean, sure, the Grey Cowl in this game doesn't really work well. It's not going to land. Come on, put that bow to use, Carlia. Oh, it went through the mountain. Okay. I'm afraid to go over there. Whatever's killing it is, um... Something I don't want to be messing with. I'll just sit over here and absorb its soul. Oh. Okay. I don't know who the mage was. But... Thank you. It may be dead. I think we can trust her. Let's see what she's on about. You say so, Brignol. I'm glad you're here. This is the headquarters of the Nightingales, cut into the mountainside by the first of our. I just love absorbing, like, a dragon soul 
right when we're about to do some like clandestine operation. If you'll follow me, I'll try to explain on the way. Do we need an edge? You, you did just see me eat a dragon's soul, right? This way, please. Oh. Oh, you got a lot of stuff. Um. I do need to make up that money that I had to pay to the guild. Should do one. No, I don't. <laughs> Actually, I want her to keep the... Hmm. Hmm. Wait, 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 wait. Does she have... Okay. So she doesn't have... She has the bone mold arrows equipped. I steal all these other arrows can i force her to use like the fire arrows and stuff those are pretty powerful arrows i'm just as puzzled as you lot yeah you didn't see anything actually do you have anything no i'm bringing you off flat ass broke <laughs> I know somebody, I know who isn't robbing the vault. Yeah, don't mind my mud crab. So this is Nightingale Hall. I heard about this place when I joined the game, Ah, I she did. Now the question is if she's going to use that during the next quest. Trying to understand why I'm here, lad. I'm no priest, and I'm certainly not religious. Why pick me? This isn't about religion, Bruno. It's business. A dragon was hired by Mercer Frey. Ah, of course. He actually has the bend will shout. Uh, courtesy of the skeleton key, of course. This is Nightingale Hall. You're the first of the uninitiated to set foot inside. Brynjolf gave into that cursed mindset <laughs> instead of being on the grind side. I think we should trust the lass and take the deal. You again. Like, give me a sec. Jeez, I haven't walked over there yet and you're already chastising me. Alright, I got the stupid ass armor on. It's nice of him to have put in a uh, tail slot for us Khajiit. Yes, please stop. I'm just trying to follow you. Please stop. Okay, lass. We've got these get ups on. Now what? Beyond this gate is the first step in becoming a nightingale. Whoa there, lass. I appreciate the armor. But becoming a nightingale, that was never discussed. To hold any hope of defeating so, what if we decided, like, like, what if Brynjolf was just like, yeah, I'm out. I'm gonna keep the armor, though. An arrangement must be struck. Did, would he just be allowed to keep the armor, or is, like, Nocturnal gonna send some thugs to repossess it? Quite simple, Brynjolf. Nocturnal will allow you to become a nightingale, and use your abilities for whatever you wish. And in return, both in life and in death, you must serve as a guardian of the Twilight Sepulchre. Aye, there's always a catch. But at this point, I suppose there isn't much to lose. Yeah, just your eternal soul. If it the end of Mercer Frey, you could count me in. What about Man. You? Are you ready to You're literally going to sell your soul to a Daedric Prince for some petty fucking revenge. Good. After I open the gate, please stand on the circle. 
I like how there is no dialogue option either to say no. I mean, I mean, you can just close out the dialogue and walk away, but... You could also achieve that by just having a dialogue option that says, No, I'm not. I'm leaving. Thanks for the armor. Time's wasting. I'm not... Uh-huh. I'm ready. I'm ready, Nocturnal. Yeah, my, my mud crab's also, uh... He's also gonna take the oath. I call upon you, Lady Nocturnal. Queen of Murk, and Empress of Shadow. Hear my voice. Oh, they locked out my controls here. Ah, I, I was going to leave the room. I was wondering when I'd hear from you again. Lose something, did we? Oh, crap. I, I lost my armor. Um, Nocturnal? Mommy Nocturnal? Can I get some more armor, please? already mine, Carlyle. Your terms were struck long ago. What could you possibly offer me now? others that wish to transact the oath to serve you both in life and in death you surprise me Carlyle. this offer is definitely weighted in my favor my appetite for mercy's demise exceeds my craving for wealth. become a werewolf sell your soul to hear scene become a vampire sell yourself to molag like ball become nightingale sell yourself to nocturnal very well um you sell yourself to uh hermes mora and dragonborn um Arguably, Akatosh has domain, has claimed your soul as a dragonborn. Lorcan might also as well, if that theory is correct. Um, what other, what other entities have lease on our soul? Yeah, at this point, they're just splitting like five percent shares of this soul. It'd be funny as if they comment on my on me being naked. I suggest you talk to Kalaya first. She has some news that Now that you've transacted the oath, it's time to reveal the final piece of the puzzle to you. Mercer's true crime. Wait. So Mercer is just like she she has some news that's gonna turn your stomach. Are you guys like telepathic now or something? Are you communicating with uh now extinct mysticism magic? Mercer was able to unlock the guild's vault without two keys because of what he stole. Like, the, the solution here is to flag that dialogue to occur after this conversation. I don't think it's very difficult to do that. Well, here it is again, that metaphysical thing that isn't actually true when we get the item. The potential to wield great power securely sealed which is funny because I don't think the skeleton's key even like boosts your locks lock picking skill like it does in uh in Oblivion. So this is like straight up nonsense. Although it would benefit the guild more than you can imagine, in the end it would do more harm than good. If the key isn't returned to its lock in the Twilight Sepulchre, things will never be the same for the guild. As time passed, our luck would diminish to the point of non-existence. And whether you know it or not, our uncanny luck defines our trade. So what's funny is on my other character, I still haven't returned my, uh, returned the skeleton key. But I've already rebuilt the, um, rebuilt the thing. Uh, rebuilt the, you know, the guild and everything. Did, literally did every single quest related to the thieves' guilds. Did the, no did, um, the Grey Cowl of Nocturnal and everything. Literally did all of it. And, um... Yeah, now I have a benefit. I even did um, No Stone Unturned. So now I have the um, Paragon of Baron Zai or whatever. So like literally I go into any inventory container and um, there's like 60 gems inside it. So I think our luck is fine, Carlia. I, I think you might just be getting lied to. Have you guys, um, have you guys actually tried, you know, 
stealing stuff. I, I know, I know. It's, it's it's a crazy idea going out and actually, you know, doing your jobs and stuff. But um, I I love I love how they cancel my dial my conversations. They get sick of waiting around. Oh. Listen, lad. There's one last piece of business we need to settle before we go out to Mercer. Yeah. The leadership of the guild. Yeah. Carlia and I had a long discussion before you arrived here. Mm -hmm. Thanks to your efforts, Mercer's treachery has been exposed. After we deal with them, all that remains is restoring the guild to its full strength. As a result. We both feel that you have the potential of replacing Mercer as leader of the Thieves Guild. Really? The, the guy who's standing here in his underwear right now? Oh, right, because nobody else goes out and steal th steals things. Okay, I got it. Also, that's kind of weird comparing me to Mercer Frey. Yeah, I think anybody would be better at leading the guild than Mercer Frey. He was, um... He was stealing from us and, like, doing nothing except furthering his own agenda. I mean, I guess he cozied up to me from Blackbriar. That was a pretty savvy move. But, um, yeah, I think just about anybody would have been a better, uh, you know, leader than him. So using that as a point of comparison is a little bit insulting. I've been at this game a long time, my friend. A long time. I've stolen trinkets from nobles and framed priests for murder. I'm good at what I do. Maybe even one of the best. But it's all I know. I've never been one to lead. Never desired it, never cared for it. Don't want it. It's about time you asked. <laughs> Spoken like the leader of the thieves. Um, oh, right, because Brynjolf's... <laughs> Brynjolf literally just... He just loves the player character. You can literally say anything to him and he'll just be like, Ah, you're such a good guy. Then it's decided. When this is all over and Delvin's contacts assure me that we've regained our footing in Skyrim, we'll handle the details. Until then, we have quite the task ahead. I've been pouring over the plans you brought us, and I'm convinced the eyes of the Falmer are in the Dwarven ruins at Urkenthal. So nobody's actually looked at these plans, right? That, that's why you guys haven't gone and gotten this yet? me that yesterday I'd have said no but now I think our chances have improved why look call me crazy if you like but I trust Carlia I don't think she'd lead us down a suicidal path besides I'd rather die with some of Mercer's blood on my blade um, and spend the rest of my life regretting that I ran the other way is sure until next week, you're, you're entitled to your opinions there Oh, 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 I'm sorry. I, I, I forgot. <laughs> I was naked this whole time. Why didn't you guys say something? I still have no shoes. I probably could get shoes now. What, what are the nightingale boots? They're muffled. I mean, they're light armor, but it doesn't really matter all that much. I think it's hilarious that you can be the Archmage of the College and not really know any magic at all. So what's funny is... I used to think the same thing until I started playing Morrowind and there's literally a dude who's like a really high-ranking member of the Mage's College there, or Mage's Guild there, rather. And, um, he also doesn't know magic. So it's kind of... I mean, that that's... Mage's College isn't the Mage's Guild, but it sure as hell acts like it, so... Hmm. Alright, let's... I guess we'll find out if this, uh... dude respawned or not. It's kind of just... Oh, ooh, it did respawn. Uh, let's go ahead and sneak away real fast. 
Alright, so now that I have muffled boots, do I even need to be casting muffle anymore? Dragon. The dragon's taking a nap. Sleepy dragon missed his meal. Oh, right. It's this place. Alright, I... I'm gonna... I'm gonna do an ODST airdrop here. That's how it's done. All right, I still don't have the skeleton key. <laughs> That's what I'm doing this for. It's rough out here, picking a lot, picking an expert lock at level 33. And I can't wait for there to only be like 20 gold in here. Wow. Uh, okay. Illusion magic works on Falmer, though, right? I know it's not going to work on the automatons, but... Should work on the Falmer. God damn. I'm sorry, was that supposed to hurt? You know what I really need? Some new armor. I'm still wearing steel. What level am I? I'm level 25 and I'm still wearing steel body. I swear the game, like, knows. It knows what you really want, so it keeps it from you. Um, where is this even leading me? This is the right way. I don't remember doing. I don't remember taking an elevator for this part. Now, how did you guys get ahead of me? I hope we aren't too late. Brynjolf and I found guys are good. To catch up to him before it's too. We should tread carefully. I wouldn't be surprised if we left behind a few surprises. Mercer will answer for this. What's that? It's Mercer. Look, down there. I'm on it. I'm on it. I'm on it, guys. Don't worry. I got this. I I I got this. I got this. 
Where'd he go? Damn it. He learned, Carlia. He also is using invisibility potions. Oh, yeah. Can you guys, like, get down here? I'm, I'm gonna need a hand. Oh, wait. I think... Oh, I think I might have broken everything <laughs> doing that. Oh, wait. This this might be a little bit broken now. All right, all right. He cast recall. Yes, I mean. It, Listen, if he stole the skeleton key, he's gonna use illegal mysticism teleportation magic. Damn it. Oh, their AI is probably disabled so that he can do this. That's why they weren't aggroing on me. He's toying with us. He wants us to follow. Aye, lads. And we'll be ready for him. Let's keep moving. I love playing on PC, so I could use console commands for exactly those sorts of reasons. Listen, I gotta do something. I, I did this quest like two nights ago. <laughs> I need something to keep me entertained. Nice six golds. What's with the fucking loot tables on this character? Oh, it resisted. I sure miss my skeleton key. This is an this is an expert lock. Oh man. On a ballista. Like I don't think this thing even really does anything. Okay, it killed one enemy down there. Or did it? No. No, it didn't even kill that enemy. Damn it. Too powerful. Okay, he's calmed at least. I heard something. Yeah, you only you only get the one shot with it. up there, isn't it? I remember getting trolled by this last time as well. Did I have to hit this and then hit that one? Is that what's going on here? What was that? No, I'm 
just gonna jump down here. Am I stupid? Oh. Oh no. Mmm. They have a timer. Look at the size of this place. Have you ever seen anything like this? Ah, crap. Alright, you guys handle this. I gotta take care of these uh, switches. Alright, there we go. Ah, they thought of everything. I was going to see if I could jump onto that ledge. Ah, uh, I was hoping I'd be able to first try that. I get, gotta get my protractor out. So I was playing uh, yesterday with a controller just to uh, just to see. It's been a while since I've played this game with a controller, and um, yeah, lock picking with a controller was a lot more difficult than I remembered it being. It could be because I'm not used to it, but damn. Can you guys not run through the giant blade trap? Just a thought. No, no, I'll, I'll let them fucking step on the bear trap, so of course. Looks like we can take the low road or the high road across this chamber. Your choice. What was that? Are you guys thinking what I'm thinking? This is what we heard. The entire tower collapsed. The only reason we do that would be to block pursuit. It must be Mercer. We'll have to find another way around. That Mercer was able to knock this thing down. That's exactly what I was thinking. It's the key, Brynjolf. In his hands, Duh! What he's of. Duh! Of course it was the key. What else could bring down the tower? It's not like this shit is decrepit and ancient or anything. Man, I wish I could bring down, like, buildings and stuff with the skeleton key. Like, they they really hype this thing up. It's incredible. What do I have in my head right now? Oh, yeah, the hood that's, like... I almost feel like I should have this on. At least lock picking will be easier. Wait, I hear something. Um, okay. Uh, sorry about that, guys. He looked like a regular farmer to me. All right, um, good luck. You guys are masters. 
uh, sneaks, right? Oh, they are blind, so... Oh, look out. There's some more bear traps here. That I, I, I warned you, Brynjolf. No, watch out. There's another one over here. Carlia, Car... <laughs> okay, surely you can see this one, right? Well, you, you triggered it at least. You didn't, you didn't get hurt. Just gonna go ahead and step around these. Master thieves here. Sure's bones. Look at that monstrosity. It's a dwarven centurion. Very tough and very deadly. We can take the beast on or sneak her out. It's your call. We're right behind you. I mean, we can take it on, or we can let the Falmer. Absolutely manhandle it. No, no, no. Yeah, I think they got their hands full over there. Um, crap. Now this this is gameplay right here. It's a shame I don't have like frenzy spells that would work on these uh, Falmer. That would make this a little bit more interesting. Oops! Now I walked into a trap. <laughs> Silly me. Good thing I didn't alert any of them. Trust me, this is a lot more interesting than actually fighting all of them. Oh, we got more bear traps. Look out, guys. Hey, you did it! Uh, there you go. It's a good thing they're blind. You know, you would think the Falmer would surround themselves with creatures that have really good eyesight. Shut the fuck up. Why are you speaking while we're walking by an ar uh, three Falmer guards? Yes, and their hearing is very good. Please, shut the fuck up. All right, do me a favor and please, please don't actually walk into that bone chime. What does this do? Yeah, okay, once once again, don't walk into those, please. Okay. Oh, also, don't don't step into the pressure plates there, please. Oh, okay. There's a mass of the farmer in this chamber. We can sneak through or take them down. I don't care, as long as we get to Mercer. Aye, whatever you want to do, we're with you. Don't see us. They don't. Nice, nice. Just walk right into them. We can hear water rushing through these pipes. We must be beneath the lake.
They really are blind, aren't they? Well, what if I start throwing some, uh... Some mean words their way. Dude, you fucking idiots. Why? Why would you fight them? Do Falmer have black souls? I'm pretty sure they have white souls. They're considered creatures in this game. Are you guys... I am not helping. They decided to engage, and that's their prerogative. Master Lock. Gonna get it. This is this is the last master lock I'll have to manually unlock, and then I'll have the skeleton key. So they wanted to make sure that you really truly appreciate what the skeleton key is gonna allow you to do. That easy. Now let's see what garbage it gave me. Uh, gold emerald ring is all right, I guess. Orcish armor? Okay. Uh, I'll see you guys at Mercer's location. Carlyle, when will you learn? Climb down that ledge. See if you can. Carlyle, when will you learn you can't get the drop on me? He did it again. He used the skeleton key to cause an earthquake. Man, I cannot wait to get that thing. Well, you should have killed me sooner, then. What's Carlyle been filling your head with? Tales of thieves with honor? Oaths ripe with falsehoods and broken promises? Nocturnal doesn't care about you, the key, or anything having to do with the guild. I mean, you're probably correct. I'm here for the eyes. No, I'm here for the skeleton key, but... Yeah, sure, the eyes are a nice bonus. I detect a hint of genuine avarice from this noble thief. Perhaps Carlia and Brynjolf misjudged you and your true nature is no... Never understood why they own. thought players would just give the skeleton key back to Nocturnal. Well, you see, the reason is the, the quest marker tells you to. The difference is I still have honor. Can I just cancel out the... the oh, I can just cancel out the dialogue. Carlia, use the fire arrows I gave you. Damn. <laughs> I'm sorry, Mercer. That that was just bad, man. 
He died! <laughs> he died from that! Oh! Oh! Was that... Was that Nocturnal doing? Did she bless me? Did she fortify my thumb to be able to just absolutely eviscerate him? <laughs> I did say this playthrough was about, like, just being as dirty as possible, but holy crap. Damn, Mercer, you got fucking gamed on. Just absolutely fucking wasted. <laughs> there was no counter. He had no hope. He should have used the skeleton key. Why wasn't the skeleton key providing him like a, a ward or something like that, you know? Damn. Rest in peace, man. Thanks for the eyes. Oh yeah, we're gonna drown in here, guys. Just, just FYI. The best, is, the best is if you're doing this as an Argonian, and it's just like, yeah, I can breathe underwater, so you guys can just fucking drown. Wow, all that, all that hype, huh? He, he could not stand up against the power of the Thum. I just, I just King Torigged his ass. The second eye. Oh, did I not pick that up? Where is the second eye? I know I got it on my other character. Oh, I'm gonna drown down here. Oh, it's in the socket. Oh, okay. Hold on one sec, guys. Uh, or it's not. Did I get it? I might have already gotten it. Yeah, I got it. Damn. Talk about an angle I got on him. Sorry, lad. I've got important things to do. We'll speak another I really I really can't believe that was high enough to instantly kill him. Twenty five years in exile were just like that. It's done. Yeah, it's just that easy, Carly. You see, we didn't need to sell our souls to Big Titty Goth GF Nocturnal. I, I could have done that from the get-go. If you didn't shoot me with that arrow. You just dragged him outside and I could have just shouted him off a mountain or something like that. It really wasn't going to be that difficult. When the skeleton key was stolen from the Twilight Sepulchre, uh, yeah, you can have fun telling that to somebody who cares. This is mine now, bye. Bye. I'm not coming back. God damn. Now that... That's what I call a success. That that's the heist for the ages right there. I mean fuck the eyes. I just I just heisted that whole that whole boss fight. Does she not leave until you talk to her? Probably. She's probably gonna sit in there forever. Yeah, speak with Carlia. Bye guys. I got I got some shit I gotta go sell. Good morning. All right, we need to, we need to start shaping up this guild now, guys. This is this is completely fucking unacceptable. As uh, as the new guild leader. I need you all to actually start go out going out and doing jobs. 
It's one thing to say you've got the skill. If you're looking for extra work, all uh, right, Delvin, who's gonna Until next time. buy all this crap for me? Here's a ship model. If you happen to cross any, what a delightful fight! It should cover it. Um, the bust of the great fox. If you happen to cross any other unusual, must have come from Mercer's place. He'd admired the great fox for some time. Sure. Oh, he must have admired how the Grey Fox stole the crap, uh, the cowl and stuff, right? Well, well, I was looking for this little beauty. If you happen to cross any other, I think everybody was looking for the fucking eyes. Be sure to buy the eight. You actually got your hands on it. This alone is worth more than some thieves earn in a lifetime. Stick with me. Ah, uh, nice. Um. Still have quite a good. Stick with me. I'll never even know you're there. Don't even find me. Need some gum. Stick with me. I'll never even know you. Ah, this is getting progressively harder now. Might be at the point where I'm just gonna start letting him keep the money. Not like I need the X XP anymore. See, because there's like um, there's actually a cap to, like a value cap to the amount of money that you can steal. So after a point, it's gonna be literally impossible to pick it off of him. Sixty-nine sneak, hell yeah. Yeah, I need the coin more. Sorry, you don't you don't get to keep this shit. Take every job you get. Stop. Could I give you a little tip? Take every job you get. Or else got lots of jobs. Stick with me, and they'll never even know you're there. Can I get kicked out of the guild now that I'm the guild master? Work to be done. Could I give you a little tip? Take every job you can get. Hmm. Something's affecting this. Hold on. I you'll end up a beggar. Ready for some work, or are you just gonna wander around? Oh, is it? Be Something is affecting this. Is it because he doesn't detect me? It's one thing to hmm. Skills to be a thief. Hmm. The pickpocketing plot thickens. Yeah, let's get more magicka. What else do I even need at this point? I feel like I got everything. Just gonna be stacking stuff, just dumping everything into illusion. How close am I to uh, another something in illusion? 50? Oh, quiet casting. Ready for some work, or are you just gonna walk around? Yeah, I'm, I'm willing to resort to this for a few more levels. That's it's fun. It's inevitable. I don't feel like trying to find an illusion trainer. I mean, a trainer wouldn't even, like, I might as well just do it this way, because if I went and found a trainer, I would just be pickpocketing the money off of them anyway. So I might as well just skip the middleman here, right? I'm 
not the real guild master until you do all the special quests then you get the new armor and a cutscene where you get be named guild master i probably also have to return the the thing to nocturnal before they call me the guild master all right sweet um okay so what should we do aspect of terror fear spells work on higher level opponents I feel like quiet casting might be the best thing for me to get. I think I'm going to go quiet casting. I think I need to go join the Mage's College. If I want to get like actual illusion spells now. I guess we can go do that real fast. All right, I'm tired of going through the loading screen style, so we're just gonna. I got. I gotta. I gotta head out soon, so. Man, this turned from uh, I wasn't all too sure how productive this uh this playthrough was into being extremely productive. <laughs> I've learned so much this this stream, which means I'm going to have to go through and uh, manually review all this footage afterwards, which sucks because I forgot to record it, so I'm going to have to download it now. I hope my audio balancing was good. Oh, forgive Most. This is the College of Winterhold. A safe haven. Perhaps. But what is it you expect to find within? Uh, I want the power to destroy everybody. Bend the will around those around me. Um, yeah, actually, illusion. Yes, the school of illusion can be quite influential. Kings have risen <clears throat> to power because of it, and empires have been raised with it. It would seem that the college has what you seek. The question now is, what can you offer the college? Not just anyone. Um... I'm an adorable cat. Oh wait, you got one of those already. I forgot. A small test, if you will. Uh, I'm loaded. How about that? Oh yeah, the the impossible. No, I'm afraid I don't know anything of the sort. Or I think it's like a level ninety persuasion that you need to get past this. The mage light spell is useful to ah, mage light. Not just those specializing in alterations. Can you cast one on the seal on the ground? I, I don't know no. that spell. Well, if you think you're capable of it, then I'd be happy. Or you can try your luck with one of the court wizards. Who... Here you are. Now I'm anxious to see you cast. Hmm. Would Mage Light be useful for, uh... Damn, that's an apprentice level spell. Much knowledge lies within the college as well. Well done indeed. Can I use that to distract enemies? To the college. Welcome, apprentice. I'll lead you across the bridge. Well done indeed. Oh no, I have to fucking sit through this whole thing in order to I just I just wanted to buy some some illusion spells over here. Um where is the illusion? Maybe I can get through here without actually talking to anybody. Oh, nice. Who, who just leaves all this stuff lying around? I care little for idle conversation. Oh. But perhaps I... you need help with conjuration magic. Um, conjuration? No, I'm looking for illusion. You know, you... You can see me? Um, n no, I can't. But you can hear me, obviously. Something still isn't quite right. Uh, at least I'm making progress. I shall explain to you the mysteries of the outer realm. One sec. Illusion really is the least appreciated of the schools of magic. Okay, now you I can train me. To you the mysteries of the outer realms. Oh, 
Oh, he has the gloves on him already. Oh, shit. Yeah, see, that's what I was talking about. Um, we can fix this. I could be free of the spells and incantations for those with the talent to cast them. I didn't even need that. I, I was saving that for uh, Mercer Frey, turns out. Farewell. Okay, now... Fuck, it's still 0%. Mm, you're not going to keep that money, I'm sorry to tell you. Farewell. Illusion really is the least appreciated. I shall explain to you the mysteries of the outer realm. Okay, so we'll do two levels then. Why you? All right then. Ah, uh, mm -hmm. see, that's the risky. That's that, that's the scary part about robbing people here. They'll turn you into a pile of ash if they find you. Think you could steal from me? Um. What's what's the deal with my pickpocket? Why is this being so difficult? It's it's not that much. But does it does he have a lot of money on him already to begin with? No. If only I could be free of the mundane. I shall explain to you the mystery. All right, we'll do this one at a time, I guess. Yes, I shall explain to you the mysteries of the outer realm. Why, you just failed a 90%. Good day. Need something? I shall explain to you the mysteries of the outer realms. What is the outer realms anyway? You little thief. Damn, I keep failing on a 90%. Well. Are you talking about the ethereal or the eth Ethereum, whatever it's called. I shall explain to you the mysteries of the outer realms. What do you need? I shall explain to you the mysteries of the outer realms. All right. Hmm? Um. Now I want to buy some spells. Thank you. For those with the talent to cast them. Okay. So I know these. Oh, he really doesn't have much. I'll take Frenzy. Fury. Um, Rally. Uh, no thank you. I guess I gotta level up my illusion more before he's gonna give me the good stuff. I mean, these should do the trick. People up to level 17 won't fight. And I have dual casting, so that's actually 35? Something like that? 17 times 2? That's an expensive spell, though. Which is uh, up to level six, so it's only going to go up to level twelve. Yeah, they they really uh, put frenzy on. They they really gate frenzy. Good day. That's all right. I'd rather frenzy be on five. I don't know if I even need to be casting Muffle anymore, because I have my Muffle Boots and my Sneak is very high. I think we can retire Muffle, although Muffle's still a good training XP. Spells and incantations for those with the talent to cast them. Uh, to sell you some stuff. Here you go. Farewell. All right, cool. Um, do I, I 
do want to test this real fast. Oh, shit. I don't need enough magic to cast that. Dual cast it anyway. Ah. Ah. Too powerful. Weird he didn't get aggroed from that, though. Good morning. If I take those gloves and then I try to get the job from him, what's he going to do? I wonder if that soft locks the quest. You guys don't have think about it. anything if worth you stealing. Assist, if you would, please also contain your summon. The summoning of undead is even less advisable outside the college. Take a look. Staff of fear. Jesus Christ. 7,000 gold for a staff that's only going to work up to level 8? your magic up by 50 points um or conjuration and illusion spells cost 17 percent less magic regenerates 100 percent faster The other dude sells then. Yeah, sorry, Croesus. Oh, I don't even need Croesus anymore because the only thing I was getting out of this was the lock picking. And uh, yeah, I have the skeleton key now, so. Alright. Okay, so if I get. I replace my chest or my armor with robes. That leaves me with boots and gloves as my only points of armor. I mean, this character really isn't even meant to be taking hits. It's kind of the whole point. Is that you're supposed to be stealthy, right? Where did Drefus go? Only I could be f take a look. Got any like sick illusion robes for me? Illusion spells cost seventeen percent less to cast. Magic regenerates hundred percent faster. Yeah, because I don't really care about the conjuration aspect of those other robes. Uh, sure. We'll see how this goes. If I start getting, like, absolutely bodied while wearing these, then I'll switch back to wearing, like, actual armor, but... It... It's, you know, we're getting the monk look now. That's for sure. <laughs> I really could use some heavy armor boots, though. Heavy armor boots with, uh, muffle on it. Really anything. Like I said, I, I can just cast Muffle. I don't really need them as an enchantment. I'm going to visit some smiths. I'm going to see if I can find any good boots. Because the gloves are non-negotiable, obviously. That's the that's doing all my damage. Then also increases my block. Oh yeah, I have my shield as well. That's going to add armor value. All that matters is this number right here, my armor rating. So uh, however you get that up is like that's that's all that matters. So I'm thinking maybe I should do smithing on this character. That's absolutely something I would grind off camera if I did it, or I just use fucking console commands. You call yourself a wizard? I challenge you to a duel. Uh oh. Um, I am not a wizard. I don't know who told it. Don't. I am a monk, sir. I am a thieving monk. I won't take no for an answer. 
I'm running away because I know what this dude does. Guards? Guards? I'm literally being assaulted right now. This is literally assault. Um, hmm. You literally just joined the college and get challenged. <laughs> well, this is a magic fight. challenge you to a duel. The gods will be the judge of that. Hmm. Hmm. Um, all right. So we might have some options here. I think it's going to go something like this. Uh, fuck. I'm missing my opportunity here. So, He's a steward up at Dragon damn it. Hold on, hold on. I'm trying to think what's the best way to screw with this dude. Uh, we could give it... Do I have, like, a really powerful poison on me? That would be funny. I frostbite venom. Okay. Um. Oh wow, he one-shotted me with that. So is he gonna be back? So I'm not done with him yet. Ah oh, no. Ah, uh, no. He's probably not going to be back now. <gasps> Can it be? Okay. Sweet. Because I'm going to screw with this dude. I challenge you to a duel. The gods will be the judge of that. Never should have come here. Okay, nice. One, even even just one shot with that works. All right, now do the poison nonsense. <laughs> oh, is that? Yeah, this is a. I challenge you to a duel. Hold on a sec. I need to heal. You call yourself a wizard? I challenge you to a duel. Alright, come on. You call yourself a wizard? I challenge you to a duel. Okay, I'm I'm ready. How about you? Damn, he's so quick though. <laughs> He's so wily. You call yourself a wizard? The gods will be the judge of that. Never gonna come here. All right. I wonder if I can just stack the poisons. Yeah, I guess so. Get him. Kill him. This should be good. Hey. Now. 
the paralysis poison is pretty funny, though. I think I'll just keep doing that. You call yourself a wizard? I challenge the gods will be the judge of that. Ah, damn it. Go back down. Have you met my father? He's a steward of the Dragon's Reach. A fight. I'm getting out of here. All right. He challenged me to a duel. Put that down. I'm just getting rid of it so that people don't run over to it and ask what happened. All right. We're good now. May want to shield bash spam this one. Nah, shield. See, it's like I know I can do that. I wanted, I wanted to try a different way. Damn, it worked. Eventually. Oh yeah, I can't even get the unarmed kill cams when I'm using uh, illusion magic. If I still have it in my hand. More inside. Of course she doesn't Don't want to actually to trade with me. We've got small weapons. The finest weapons and armor. Uh, what was I even looking for? Like shields and... Shields and boots would be nice. Good doing business with you. I wonder. You look like maybe you need a new weapon. Something big, perhaps. And then if I reload, will that res does that count to reset it? Looking to protect yourself or deal some damage. Uh, no, it doesn't. All right. What do you think? I, I gotta punch him. Frenzy the might. Finest weapons and armor. Sneaking is 25% better. Uh, that's light armor. I want heavy armor. Until next time. Most of our web take a look. I'm only gonna do this for a little bit. I'm just curious if I'll actually get anything good or not. Damn, all the enchanted stuff is light armor. Until next time. Crush, clobber, take a look. Uh, restoration. I don't need restoration. Frost resistance might be nice. Uh, frost magic definitely fucks me up pretty badly. It's better than this one because I have shock resistance on here, which isn't really that helpful. Fire resistance might also be pretty nice. Damn, you. Damn we have everything here. Fire, frost... Oh, wait, no, this was Frost. I was just misreading. All right, then. Huh? 
looking to protect I'm really just looking for some, some like damage. nice enchanted boots. Illusion spells cost 20% less to cast. Um hold on a sec. Isn't that better than the robes that I just bought? Which do 17%. I mean magic regenerates 100% faster, but eh, I don't really need magic regen. Need something. Take a look. Um Yeah, I think I'm gonna go for this. Is there anything else? Yes, yeah, screw it. I'll wear that. Literally better. Yeah, so all I really want now is like nice pair of boots cuz I think I'll keep I'll keep the hood unless I see like a helmet with a really nice enchantment on it. Oh, whoops. Huh? Fortify heavy armor potions to boost unarmed damage might be cool. Is that actually a thing? Take a look. Or is that just uh just an idea? Or even late armor. This is CC stuff. I don't remember this armor, though. See, blanket magic resistance would be nice. Alright, All right. we'll do like a couple more. Need something? Mephisto skill scales off your armor rating. I think it only scales off the armor rating, the base armor rating of the gauntlets themselves, though. So I've done tests with, like, upgrading uh, gear and stuff, and it didn't affect damage output. Oh, hey, look. Brawler gauntlets. Oh, more brawler gauntlets. Oh. Oh, okay. Um, alright, I guess we're gonna be going the Dwarven look. So I think my... Damn, I, I really wasted some of my money here buying these, uh... Oh, I can't see it because it's something that he's not gonna buy. Gauntlets of lockpicking, don't really need that. Increased stamina by 20 points. Uh, I don't really need that. Yeah, because my hood gives me 50. While this helmet will give me 40, but a crap ton of armor rating. So, yeah. Alright then. Huh? Take a look. Why am I rolling... Shopkeeper inventories because I'm trying to outpace uh, level scaling, and this character is gonna start dropping off pretty quickly. So, mm -hmm. might as well roll a little bit just to give myself some equipment. Yeah. Take a look. Because I certainly wasn't getting it out of. Uh, chests um these might be decent i mean i would prefer something that isn't iron though but 30 percent frost resistance is pretty nice uh, all right it's, it's Until next like one or two more looking to protect yourself or deal some damage
frost resistance 40%. Um, I'll buy them. Oh, I'm running out of money now. There's something I rarely find myself saying. Until next time. I'll roll one more. I know I bought the boots, but just, just one more. Oh, damn it. Huh? Hmm. Blades, helmets, pretty much anything to suit your needs. No, okay, okay, that's it. We're done. We're time. done. Decent haul. Oh, I can sell him a bunch of crap now. Welcome to war. I'll, I'll take, take my money home. back. Oh, I probably should have been selling him that stuff. I mean, I don't need these, so. With you. Uh, I do want some of this money back, though, so we do have to beat him up a little bit more. We've got small, the finest weapons and armor. I don't need a pickaxe. All right then. Oh, I'm so close to a level up. Damn. Now that I know how easy it is to level up pickpocket, almost makes me want to use it to farm perk points and stuff on my other character. So. What do we do next time? Because I'm going to call it. Do we do Dark Brotherhood stuff? I don't want this character to get ahead of my other character, but I think, I think I'm almost ready to do Dark Brotherhood on my other character anyways. Yeah, it might be Dark Brotherhood next time. We'll see. The, the character has been brought back from basically the brink of depth, death. Uh, what am I... Oh, these are all stolen arrows. <laughs> uh, here you go. What the fuck? I still have a... I still have an arrow on my back. Oh, here's something. Uh, <laughs> How do I have an arrow on my... How do I still have an arrow on my quiver? I, don't, I literally... The weapons thing doesn't exist on here anymore because I've literally dropped every single weapon in my inventory. Hmm. Bethesda's bug, I guess. Yeah, okay. This this character was brought back from the brink of uh, utter defeat at the beginning of the stream, and he's he's getting pretty powerful now. Um, especially with Illusion now. Kind of in kind of um kind of viable now. Actually enjoying it, guys. Um, yeah, this I mean this character actually kind of got a little bit fun now. Especially that duel. <laughs> Is it the backpack? I, th I think it's just a bug. Who knows? Anyways, I'm gonna get going. I gotta eat dinner and stuff. Been going a while. I'll, uh... I don't, I don't know when the next stream's gonna be. I gotta make some progress on my other character now. Because I don't want this one getting too far ahead of that one. I don't want to get ahead, getting ahead at all, actually. But, um... Yep, that's basically it. Um... Let's see, is there anything I want to plug? Uh, my Patreon, I guess. If you want, if you want to catch a Fallout 76 video, four-hour Fallout 76 video early, go ahead and subscribe to my Patreon. Otherwise, we'll have a new video soon. Alright, take it easy.